Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. All right, let's continue with space exploration. Once it loads. Sorry, I had to. I was in a little bit of a rush the last few minutes. It actually loads a lot quicker than it saves. Although we do have like a precipitous drop in UPS for the first like 30 seconds. While it figures out everything that's going on, I guess. And again with the fake complete uh, progress bar, fantastic. I'm sure we'll get there eventually. And that really is taking its sweet time. Okay, we have motion at glorious 5 UPS. Now we're up to 45. And back down again. And up again. No, it's it's very much still getting getting back into the groove. Oh my goodness, hurry up. This is... There we go. No, no, we're still... We're still settling in. Okay. We good? Yes? Fantastic. Where are we headed? Hagen Orbit? Um... Ru -ru -ru. Veldag. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I believe we were heading back because I didn't have express loaders at Bombato. I'm late indeed. I was uh, almost late myself. I was technically not late, but I hadn't loaded the game in. Which, as it turns out, takes like two or three minutes. If you include the time where UPS is very, very low until it gets going again. Artur's Lackic. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Watch your back. What, is the early person? Um, so I wanted to look... Oh, I think I made a shortcut for this, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. No, 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 no. There we go. Uh, I believe this is our new outpost. Yes, indeed. Bombato. Um, so we've got everything up here. We've got a few hundred megawatts of power to spare, which is probably enough for all of the core mining drills that we want to place. Um, so really we're just, we're literally just coming back here for express loaders. Because at some point, uh, I temporarily disabled the making of express loaders, and forgot somehow. These things happen. How's the autosave simulator? <laughs> I turned autosave off completely. Um, because the highest... I have two options, right? Never or... Uh, 99 minutes. If you try and put something bigger in, it'll just... It, it, it'll just say never. Or drop it back down to 99, I guess. I was gonna save, like, twice per stream, but I guess I'll just have to do it manually. Okay. Have I got my... Loaders? They should be in here, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take some extra just to be sure. 
We'll wait for the bots to finish moving. How about our new builds? Did we finish all of those? I believe this one is Dunsky, and we have some stuff down here waiting for machines that we don't have yet. I need to make tier 6 modules just to make material fabricators. Um, and we're missing some belt over here, so we can do that in the meantime, at least. Wait for inactivity. And it looks like... Oh, because that's in a robot network, that's why it's flashing. But these are just the advanced research servers. Speaking of which, I think we've done everything we need to to get those made, except we're waiting a long time before we get AI cores. Because... mostly because of Vitalik Reagent. Um, that is pretty much the bottleneck, and that's what we're working on now with this new outpost. AT hacks, I don't know if the belts were full uh, of whatever, but when... You did the last Holmium powder build, the bottom right machine wasn't running. Do you mean this new one here? This one? Um... What does this consume? 21 per second? And these ones supposedly give us 13. And this... Okay, rate calc says we're negative on holmium chloride here. So I don't know why it's backed up. Oh, hang on. These inserters are too slow. That's why. Let's make them... Um, Superior inserters, because why not? Thanks for all the entertainment. Thank you for the thank you. Evil Pla, thank you very much for the 14 months. Much appreciated, and welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Oh yeah, good catch, uh, Bungie Bum, as well. And welcome back also. Alright, construction train parked here. Should get the job done. Let's make sure, shall we? While I check chat. And Buggles. Three watches in a row. Thank you so much. And welcome back. I was a bit off balance the first time I saw that notification because uh, Twitch has a habit of just putting features like this on by default. And that's how you learn that they exist. What is this? 97 holmium powder per second. Um... I may have miscalculated uh, with the belts here. Whoopsie daisy. Let's at least put a purple belt here. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bother fixing it beyond that. Um, wish I could have grabbed the construction train before it got back, but with our new version of the loader, it doesn't have to unload, so it's already prepared to go back. Easy enough. Easy enough. Cool. So, our Holmium powder... Uh, we already increased it from what we had. Apparently, a few minutes ago, it was going this fast, and then it drops down to here? Hmm. So we're looking at, like, 4.8... 4.6 or 7k per minute, apparently. Um, and now... Don't tell me after all that we're bottlenecked on crushed holmanite. That makes sense, actually. Um, we can process... Uh, let's see. Does This doesn't spit out crushed, does it? No. And this... I should probably just take the whole block into consideration. 
Uh, we consume net negative. Uh, we consume neg net ninety five per second. This thing can supply one hundred and twenty six per second. But we're now actually consuming the holmium before it. Uh, that that's our new bottleneck there. Well, that's an improvement. Uh, where's our holmium ore fragments? I think they're going at full speed. Holmium core fragments. Consumption is looking pretty consistent for the last five hours. Which probably means we need to make another block for this. 50.688 holmium per second versus 192. <laughs> yeah, we should probably make another block for holmium. Um, there's some weirdness I don't want to copy-paste there. I don't want to have the spell evader trains have to go too far. I guess I could always just add more. It's probably fine. And that should do it. Pardon me, I'm still a little bit sick, apparently. Didn't really hit me until I found myself having to talk. Glacier Wolf Boovin, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. There is an X next to your construction train depot. Construction train depot. Oh, this thing? That's an old... Uh... Yeah, that's an old green circuit build I wanted to get rid of. We can do that. In fact... Do we have construction bots in this? No. No, we do not. I should probably hurry up and build... Uh... A new loader just for the decon train because that we could use the same system but we're not loading a whole bunch of stuff into the decon train we can probably do something a bit more specialized and efficient let's go back to foenestra mad dame salsa good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well hope you feel better soon thank you please rest if you need to we want you healthy i'm not that unhealthy it's just uh, I, I didn't even think much that I was sick today. I just uh, just noticed as the stream started, oh, uh, clearing my throat is going to take a little while. And I have slight sniffles, actually. Okay, um, volcano shenanigans? Imagine no autosave, oh god. No only autosaves, no saves coming volcano shenanigans. It would take hours to clean up after every mistake. When you're, like, learning to make a petroleum boiler. That's just how it would be. Um, cool, we almost got this built in one. Should be able to get it done with one more trip. Du -du -du uh, can the construction train reach there? I think it can. No, that's probably why there's a straight line right there where it didn't finish the rail sticking out. Exactly here. Uh, but yeah, this will be more core fragment holmium. Fantastic. It's already operating. Oh, very good. Alright, so we're now able to process 96 holmonite core fragments per second. I don't think our outpost can support anything like that. Um... We've got 10. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got ten of these. Uh, we can only do 25 per second. So... Setting aside that we've got a backlog of Holmium Core Fragments, I believe. Uh, that was actually really unnecessary. <laughs> but, you know, we actually have to catch up on Holmium again. Um, we left something broken for a while, and we kind of need to work through that backlog relatively quickly, sort of. A backlog for now, indeed. Where are we going to go for more Holmium Core Fragments? Let's see... Core Fragment... Holmium, please? We've only found four. Uh, and none of them are particularly close to the interstellar map, and the one that is closest is the one that's in our home system. Um, so yeah, we should probably find some more, uh, Holmium Core Fragments. Um, but I want... There we go. We need to set... Under Zone Discovery in the Informatron, you can set the Targeted Zone Discovery. Which shouldn't take too long, but we are getting up there. We're at number 55 for Targeted Zone Discovery now. And for Regular Zone Discovery, 96. I wonder whereabouts uh, it's cheaper to, to do one or the other. We're at 106 regular Astro Science Pack 1s. And the rest for zone discovery or uh, 82. Wait, what? Oh, I guess this one started higher up. Well, I'm sure this is still more expensive. Um, we probably need like 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 untargeted zone discoveries before targeted gets cheaper again. How many zones are there to discover? Um, I would imagine at least a few hundred. How many do we have? Uh, this many? I'm, I'm not sure if there's a way to check the count. You know, without going through them all individually. Boop a doop. We found Plato. Hopefully, it's got some good insights for us. Big radius. Uh, all of the biters and kind of close to the sun. So, not quite what we're looking for. The big radius is good, but the rest is the opposite of what we're after. There's more zones than Factorio can handle. Factorio can have only 256 surfaces? Really? Oh, but if you don't actually make surfaces for many of them, you can find a lot more zones, I imagine, right? About 500 if I good remember, indeed. Philip B, if I didn't say so, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. We are just about getting to... Oh, an now. And... And go. Wait, did I just keep the momentum? I did. Mad skills. I wonder how accurate you have to be with the timing for that. Nicer. We just got a gravity assist off of Foenestra. Okay. Uh, what did we just find? Soteria? Soteria. 67% solar, I'm probably not interested. Radius is minuscule. Uh, and I don't even care whether or not it has biters if it's that small. So yeah, this meets none of our criteria, except that it's got no biters. Unfortunate.
if I ever play SE again, maybe I will actually use Factory Planner from the beginning. So that there's... to take the guesswork out of um, how much we need to support our base. But I think I'd rather play around with Factory Planner on a smaller playthrough first, like uh, maybe vanilla or vanilla-ish. Ooh. Oh, biocombustion data, that's relatively easy. Apparently we don't have the trains to keep up with this? Huh. Did I not request enough? 10k biomass, that's two train loads. Are we short... We might actually be short uh, LTN trains. There's only one that's parked here right now. Yeah, all of these are liquid. There are zero long LTL, LTN trains available right now in space. Alright, I believe we looked at Sotaria. We did. Er Erin, yes? Erin? Yes? Uh, mediocre radius at best, too close to the sun. Skip it. I think after this I'll do a bunch of, uh, just any kind of zone discovery. Because I want to look for coal core fragments as well. And who knows what else. There might be something I don't know that I want. Mad Dog, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. That certainly is a big number. From the API, the game currently supports a maximum of uh, uh, 4.29 billion surfaces, including the default surface. Damn. Makes me curious what power of 2 minus 1 that is, indeed. Ah, uh, pardon me. Okay, where are we? We are one... we're 90 seconds out from Bombato orbit. Then we can actually continue with our outpost. Um, how's the beaming going? There's still kind of a lot to do. It's more because there's a lot of area to cover, I think. There aren't many biters left. Oh, there's really not many biters to the north. As in... About zero. Or to the northeast, or the east. Are we going clockwise? Yeah, we're actually getting pretty close. Nice to. Selene has been found. It is minuscule again. All right. Ask the right nerds, get the right answers. <laughs> Indeed. So five years ago, it was 256. It changed after that. Indeed. Nice. You know, let me state something really obvious, but there's no need for more than one surface for vanilla. Um, or at least, to the best of my knowledge, maybe there's some shenanigans going on in the background. But, uh, yeah, they went to the trouble of doing that just because mods, I guess. Very cool. Doop a doop. Ra Radaman. Radaman. 5k radius. This is like. Radius and distance from the sun are halfway to what we want. Alright, let's anchor again. And this time... This time we brought loaders. Alright. Do I have enough rocket fuel? 
Not really. That'll do. Alright, uh, let's start by making sure that all of the stuff we've built already actually has what it needs. Oh, that's a good fit. Fantastic. Actually, you know, it occurs to me, theoretically, if you leave these things running long enough while you're building the whole place, um, by activating these uh, VIT core fragments, uh, by the... By activating the core mining drills early, if this fills up, you could actually um, sort of cheat yourself out of throughput. Because the ones that are... Why did we cliff explode this? Ravna. Uh, because the ones that are not doing anything are still reducing the efficiency of the active ones. But, wow, we're at 40 already? Holy crap. That's a lot of core fragments. Okay. Two drills, 40 core fragments per second. Damn. So that's two stacks per second. Why did we cliff explode these things? And why was there a... Wait, what? Why was there a core fragment hidden? It's a core mining drill. What? I don't remember any cliff explosives here. Why? Good thing I. Good thing I used that deconstruction planner. What the hell? So presumably we placed a core mining drill, and then Cliff exploded, and it dropped the drill on the ground? I, I guess? Beta core frags are super generous for some reason. Well, the demand for them is gargantuan, so there's that. Is the station to the east going to get a train stuck, or not finished with its tracks? Um, probably not finished. Why? What do we got? Oh, to the east? No, no, no. Uh, so the trains go this way. Uh, this way? Oh, no, this track hasn't been finished. Yeah, you're right about that. And we'll probably... Probably have the trains just go straight through this one. It's obviously going to take the least time to pick up from this station. Doop -a doop All right, let me just park myself here for the bots and the signals. And... What did we find? Vestrian. I'm probably not interested in moons, to be honest. Like, we've already got our... Our basic Holmium core fragments coming in. I want a huge planet that's close to close to the interstellar map, so why can't I type? Oh. Vestrian. Yeah, I I don't know what I could find that would convince me to take one of these two. Sawaxta. Alright. Let's do some basic zone discovery. Because I want... I need to find a core fragment... Uh, sorry, a coal core fragment planet as well. Uh, that's not coal, is it? That's rare metals. We seem to just accidentally all the rare metals we ever need, so we're probably never going for one of those. Or something could demand tons of it from late game. We'll see. Um, I'm not seeing any candidates here that are particularly interesting for coal. 
if we had one in Solar System, uh, in Calidus, then I would maybe take a smaller one. Uh, but I think, once again, we're just looking for huge radius very, very close to the interstellar map. Okay, um, so I'm thinking rail go this way, and up here. What is that? Spiders? In my outpost? Especially this close to the center? What have I got? Some jetpacks, some armor, a whole lot of batteries that haven't charged. 150 megajoules. How long does that take to charge with... Well, I think we're seeing how long that takes to charge with portable nuclear reactors. Um, I guess that's one way to make the extremely thirsty... Uh, personal laser defenses viable is battery spam. Also, do I really have just one advanced exoskeleton on me? Hmm. How fast do I run? Not very. It's really there for, like, a quality of life thing, because if I want to go fast, I'm going to use jetpacks. I guess... I guess if I limited myself to some advanced exoskeletons, or superior ones, rather, uh, and if it's kind of a little bit fast, and it doesn't cause the energy shields to drain energy, then maybe the energy shields could be actually decent. Oh, we've got one in here right now, actually. Because I needed somewhere to jam it in. Alright, I'm kind of curious just how quickly this would drain the batteries. Max consumption, 10 megawatt. We need two and a half of the best batteries in the game just to support the throughput of this thing. Um, but that said, 450 megajoules with 10 megawatt, that would take, what, 400 and... Would it be 45 seconds of continuous firing? Is that all? I knew it would be bad, but that's kind of bad. Where are those biters? Uh, way over here? No? Uh-oh. Where are they? I need to test the laser. No. No, please. Is this them? Yes. Okay. Okay. So pretty much... Just barely north-northwest. In the same spot before they were before. Where did you last put them? Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh no. Yeah, this is pretty weak, obviously, but how fast is it draining up battery? One, two, three, four, five, six big personal batteries, maximum tier. And I was seeing it drain energy about as quickly as it's gaining energy now. Um, which I guess isn't that bad? You know, before I say hello to this behemoth, I should probably have more equipment. Probably. No, no, the other left. They were in the same spot before, indeed. Found it in the change log. Surface count was increased in version 0.17 back in 2019. Fantastic. Can I have a little bit more speed? That's more like it. It's 
probably not enough to get away from that behemoth. We'll have to fly. Assuming I can outrun it with this many jetpacks. Is tier 3 the highest tier of the personal laser defenses? It is not. So this isn't even the most thirsty. We need energy 4 and then some stuff that we've already got. Or we will have AI cores by the time we do this anyway. I think I have three of the yellow generators in Mark IV armor to have two lasers working. Yeah. Oh my god. Why is the bigger one faster? Well, at least we can go slow enough to not drain the battery with the energy shield. The DPS is actually quite high, it's just that armored biters are insanely tough. And we're out of energy. Damn. Wait, no. We haven't lost our battery charge yet. Is it because we're... We're only 500 kilowatt with the exoskeletons, so that can't be it. We had... I don't get it. Why was the personal SMG laser sputtering? We still had battery charge. Or just use actual guns? Never. How could you even suggest such a thing? Where are we going? Oh, I should probably start here now. Boop -a doop Another moon. Uh, we found... An asteroid belt, don't care. I'm pretty sure we looked at Swaxter. We did. Uh, um, Amadeo? Ooh! Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that was almost perfect. 9.8, or more, more like 9.9k radius Holmanite. Zero biters. But 100% solar in the hanker system. Wait, in the hanker system? <gasps> How f far is it from Hagen orbit? It might actually be about the same distance or closer than if we used the anomaly to a planet that's like here. Uh, let's see. Hagen orbit. Delta V, 30k. Hmm. So it's 20k for Foenestra and back itself. Well, not Foenestra and back. To Foenestra and then to where we're going. And then add a bit more. But not much more. What, what's our Delta V to get to Nalvis from Hagen? Nalvis. Um, 7,000. So just this is 7,000. So to get to get from the interstellar map to Foenestra is probably about the same as Hagen to Calidus. Calidus. 8.7k. Yeah, it's pretty comparable. It's a bit further. Um... So I don't know the dist. Well, what's the distance to Calidus Asteroid Belt 2? Uh, 1600 from Hagen. So this right here is probably like 18, 1900. So if something. So like 20,000, 22,000, maybe. Maybe 25,000. If we had a big planet really close to the interstellar map. 
which means this one here is like 5,000 further away. So we should probably keep looking. That was almost, almost perfect though. Amadeo. We could consider it if we don't find anything else for Holmium. It's just about 4 or 5k Delta V further than if we go to an ideal, uh, like almost ideal planet location. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, via Foenestra. Delete surface. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Missed the mute button, or I double pressed it. Dupa dupe, dupe again. Uh, met Metapillar. What are you? Iron, only 4k radius, probably skip. Miranda, probably not. Iridite, 46% solar. Uh, we're, aren't we already set for Iridite? Somewhat, for the moment. Alk, A-L-K-E. Alky, maybe? 7% solar. Pretty good radius, but it's rare metals. I'm not really interested in rare metals. Uh, and I won't be overly shocked if we never need a rare metal core fragment planet. Sahashi. That is Vulcanite. We don't have a lot of Vulcanite ones yet, I don't think. Uh... We've got a 5k radius at 7% solar. That's decent. Especially considering we don't necessarily need that much. Still, if we want to, like, maximize our throughput for minimum map size and probably better UPS, although that, that's probably a bit trivial, we want huge planet right at the edge of the solar system. Okay, so I was thinking this could go... Flags show defense cannons as well? Flags show defense cannons? What do you mean? Is this a patch? Doop -a -doop. Uh, I could put it on either side, but this right here seems okay. And continue up this way. And we'll have front left. Well, that's kind of a good fit. Which is better, this or this? I kind of like this better. The train wouldn't have as far to go. Minuscule difference, I know. In that corner. Oh, and what did we find? Can we research this yet? Energy 4, not really. Not really. It's only 3.2 megawatt. That's not that much better than the easy nuclear reactor, but maybe the fuel actually doesn't give us spicy hands. Let me just turn off my robots for a minute. Because... We're going to pew pew the trees, and we don't want to pew pew the rail. And I 
can't even see where I'm trying to line it up with. Close. Should just about do it. Uh, did I look at the other planets? I think Shashi was last, right? Mirage. No, I did look at Mirage, didn't I? That was Iron. Uh, more, more zone discovery, please. Are you winning some? Somewhat. Mob Dragon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I should probably plan out my power poles first. Is that connected? Yeah, it is. And perfect. Perfection. I think we'll still have... We should still be able to keep up with the core fragments with three trains... Pretty much no matter how much we... Well, okay, if I if I tapped every core seam on the planet, I don't think three trains would be enough. But if we actually needed uh, more than what we can get with a decent, but not too excessive area, uh, I think I would just find another outpost to get a bit of melange core fragments from. All right, we're here already. Should have brought... Well, I was going to say I should have brought the spider so I can click to move, but... Having to carry around the spicy fuel... Uh, why am I still in the power armor? Having to carry around the spicy fuel for the Spidertron kind of ruins it. We found Lamia. Why can't I? 7.3k radius. Kinda low solar. It's 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 teasing. It's very close to the ultimate iron outpost. We haven't really had trouble with iron though. Now that we now what are we doing today other than mass detaining? The hippies and peaceful protester, protesters. I'm not mass detaining anyone. We're scorching them from space. Difference. Besides, they don't know how to make signs. Space hippies. <laughs> Well, every time I join, it's the same question. Indeed. That looks a bit busted. What? How do I... There we go. And is, is this enough? Get out of here, trees. You bother me. There we go. And this one as well. Better than getting wood in my inventory. Doop -a doop. That's a moon. They uh crude oil. Can you get a crude oil 
Core fragment planet, or is it only moons? No, you can. We already did the math, though. Um, if you want oil specifically, whole core fragments are better. Just, um, and, and I do mean a lot better. Just do some coal liquefaction. I hope you're doing fine, bro. Also, how old is this world? As in the save? 24 days, 10 hours. Sit, citrazo banato? Sit, citrazo banato. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I'm pretty sure I have all of this area as just one sector. Uh, why is that? No. No, it's one off. I have to fix it. I have to. I have to fix it. It's fine. I know just what to do without walking over there. And Buzz D, thank you for the follow as well. Alright, you're going down one tile with Picker Dollies. And then... I love this feature. It should be part of vanilla. Being able to manipulate wires from anywhere. And I didn't actually check that that lines up. God damn it, we need to do this again. And yes, it is a need. One, two, three. What are we eyeing about? There's nothing strange about this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Much better. Wait, wait, wait. You can change copper cables in nav mode? Yes, yes you can. Just like red and green wires. I did not know this. Well, now you do. Yeah, that's why we've got these in the filtered slots up here. Over 600 hours in this world. Uh, yeah, it is space exploration. Is that 600? I, I guess, probably. Um, alright. So we've got one, two, three, four, five drills so far. Six, seven, eight. I could maybe leave it at that and see how we do. Wait, let me just confirm. Oh, here we go. Perfect time. Uh, yeah, five times whatever this is. 63... Uh, 65 core fragments per second, rather. From... Moss Garden? We've got 10 times this. 50.3 core fragments per second. Um, I was going to say for our current build we're trying to get X amount, but... That's probably not even enough to support what we're trying to do in space already. Uh, we need 96 core fragments per second. If we're going to keep these going continuously, at least. Let's try for that first. 96. So what was Moss Garden again? 50 point something? 50.3. So we only need like like 50 from here, right? Uh, so we've kind of already got it. Alright, um, I might just keep this relatively small for now. And we'll trim the surface as soon as the biters are dead. And we can always just come back here to expand our rail network. If it, when we need more Vitamelange. Whoops. There we go. 
that's that's not quite right. That's not quite right. I could put it here or here or here. Let's do this one. Damn it. Decon that. And pew pew the trees. And we'll make room for... Did I just shoot? No. No, we could. Make room for our corner over here. Perfect. And bots go. Alright, what have we discovered? What was the last one we looked at? Thea, I think? Mit Miturion, we might not have looked at. Ooh, 8k coal. 51% coal is not ideal. Just how picky am I going to be, though? How many zones are there to discover? So maybe we could pick from literally everything. That's, that's decent, though. That's by far our best candidate so far. Uh, Vikan is Vit. We're probably not needing that. It's also not that close to the edge of the map. And Berkey is a moon, so I seriously doubt we'll be going there. It's also Cryonite. We definitely don't need more Cryonite. Would it be faster to laser the obvious biters? Do you mean, like, go and get them myself? Just just flying over to them is going to take, like, a few minutes each time. Oopa doop. What do we got? Another moon. Alwego. Uh, it's a tiny, 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 tiny Vitamelange moon. Way too far, indeed. Yeah, this is almost as big of a planet as you can get. Where's our power poles? Give me a regular one. And we go left from here. And that should cover everything. Nope, it's one off. Hmm, are we going to keep going this way? I don't think so. Let's just cheat a little bit. That should cover all of them now. It does. Don't tell me that's off-center again. No, we're good. It just looks like it. And then we'll get these two, and that's probably enough for now. Might not even trigger a biter attack before they get cleared out. Mm. Alright, pew pew. And more pew pew. Doop a doop. Lissa is mineral water. That's another one of those resources that we've always just found enough of. Um, I think I've got some some pump jacks that deliver mineral water that might still be running. There's also a ton of mineral water on Hagen directly. But I think. Probably the last mineral water 
pickup that I made has dried up. Nope. Not even close. There's 4.1 mil left here. Yeah, I think just what we're getting from core fragments is probably more than enough. Like other types of core fragments. Uh, it looks like we're dumping mineral water fairly often. And... Well, if there's no mineral water in this thing, I guess we're not dumping it. Right? Or is that not how that works, actually? I wish I had a record of... Products finished zero. There we go. I'm pretty sure it does tell us products finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have... We've actually been deleting crude oil from core fragments sometimes. Hmm. Um, so we've never deleted mineral water, but also it sounds like we almost get enough of it from core fragments already. Um, because it was a long time ago that I made this mineral water pickup. So I don't think we're going to bother with core fragments from mineral water planets. Um, I guess keep going with the research. With the scanning. The scanny scan. Where's that drill? There it is. Alright, I need to design this part first. Probably like this. And like that. And go. Give me some more power poles. Uh, Fiction. That actually is perfect. Yeah, I think no matter how big we go, um... The three trains would probably be enough. Partly because they're very fast, partly because the individual stations get slower. Um, the more coal mining drills we've got. Cool, cool, cool. So how many do we have on planet now? We have six. And that by itself is 71 core fragments per second. That's almost enough. Like probably two or three more is enough to support our two rail blocks processing Vitamelange core fragments. How about I put this one right about here? be that. Does this line up well? It does. This will do. Tyro wanna ad wanna join a crab cult? Uh in crab cult? Why a crab cult of all things? Teague, welcome in as well. I guess that's what's great about this game. Always more to learn, indeed. Even the vanilla game, you tend to learn new features years after you've started playing. And I think... 
I think that's just about all of the really low-hanging fruit. Uh, seven times this. Seventy-six. Okay, so, well, seventy-seven more like. We're getting a bit further into diminishing returns now. Um, but we've got way more than enough already to saturate both of our Vitamelange Core Fragment Rail Blocks, which gives us... Let's see... 101 Vitamelange per second, forever. Uh, and that would get, that would keep these two saturated, which would give us 253 Vitamelange Nuggets per second, which would give us about 167 uh, Bloom per second, which would give us about... About 46 uh, spice per second. And then... 10 spice can become, on average, 6 extract. Not counting productivity bonuses, so it's more like, what, 8? It's not quite 1 to 1. Uh, so let's call it like 40 extract per second if we're going all in on that. And we would need... We would need to triple... Uh, we, we would probably need six, uh, six blocks like this processing core fragments in order to satisfy this half block here, if it was going constantly. It's going to get a lot less of a problem uh, when we have higher tier productivity modules, our core fragments, and everything, a lot, everything every step along the way is going to go a lot further. But I think that's probably fine for now. The Leviathans of Subnautica have raves? Indeed. That last core drill has not train access? This is true. And... I don't have a train yet, either. I'll have to place one before we can tell if it's got path. How close are we to clearing the planet? Somewhat. Significantly closer than I expected compared to when I looked earlier today. Yeah, I think, uh... I think we're definitely going to see it done today. Cool, cool, cool. And that'll make the save fire... Save fire? Save file... A decent amount smaller. By trimming 90-something percent of a 9k radius planet. Um, but yeah, let's go get our trains. Oh, I forgot to pick up more personal batteries. How many do I have on me? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus eight. Didn't we need like 18? Oh, man. Didn't I? I did. I set a request for them here, but they didn't get delivered. I'm not sure why. 26 big personal batteries. Uh, tier 3, that is. Because they're in a buffer chest, randomly. Oh, no. I guess we're making another trip. Because I really don't want to have to come back here. Well, you know what? Two trains is enough. I'll leave myself a note. Somewhere. Uh, 
just in case we want to come here and really scale it up at some point. Do we have a character that's like a slash? I don't think so. I think this right here, just locomotive two, um, is a pretty good indicator that I only built two trains while I was here. Maybe if we have occasion to come back, we'll sort that out later. Just write a name on the ground for note? Yes. Alright, um, I should have a blueprint that is mostly correct for the Core Fragment train. At least we can place them so that they won't stick to each other. We just need to change the Spellevator. Uh, what's this place called again? Bombato. Bombato down, Bombato up. And this goes here, and then copy settings from this one to this one, give it some additional electric engines, give it some solar, give it some batteries, and doop a doop. We've found nothing but moons lately. I think I looked at Ger Gerheift. Yeah, 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 that's... Decent Vulcanite. It's a little bit far from the interstellar map. And it's a pretty good radius, but not great for either of those. Uh, let me just refresh all of this. Since we're probably not going to find what we want in the next two. Did it just change the schedule back to Corsol after those got added? It did. Bravna. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Power armor. We've got batteries here. Okay. I also need to put all these batteries in. Uh, any train that goes down to the surface of Hagen, but not the ones in orbit, that's unnecessary. In fact, I should check if the ones in orbit could fit another advanced additional electric engine, if they actually do get more solar power because they're in orbit. Alright, we need some charged packs, which... Come to think of it, I didn't set up previously. Unfortunate. Where, where are the packs? How many elevator cables we got left? Three hundred and forty-eight. Uh. Better put some more in, I think. That's terrifying. We're going through 5.6 per minute over here. Maybe I should take more advantage of... Like, if we need more Vit Core Fragments later on, I, I probably should just keep expanding on the one planet. I kind of forgot about the Spell of Aid attacks. It's not that extreme, but it does add up. Okay. What was I doing? Still don't have any charged packs because these things are slow as hell. And there's no way to speed them up. What you need is a ship that can send trains to outposts automatically. Um... I would need to, like, add some rail and a clamp here or something. 
And I would still have to manually make the trains to put the power armor things in them. Unfortunate. Maybe I should have used that mod that uh, can place equipment grid stuff into vehicles automatically. Um, anyway, let me just double check. We got these two trains finished, right? I believe so. Just need some batteries to get them started, and while... Oh, we did make some charged batteries, actually. While that is happening, I need to set up the outpost as well. So first of all, this is Vitamelange Core Fragment. Uh, and then we'll start from the top, because we've got some hidden ones up here. Vit Core Fragment... Vitcore Fragment. We just need to replace those everywhere. Do that first. And we obviously don't need this one. Is there another? Yeah, here it is. That's the one I kept missing earlier. The set requests. And this one. I think that's it. And then, this needs to be our planet orbit. Planet orbit 840. 840. Uh, Teague, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Can cargo rockets go from one system to another? Yes, they can go anywhere. It's one of their advantages. By far the lowest tech that can go interstellar. You could try and send the batteries on a core fragment ship. Uh, yeah, I do do that. Or send the con ship for a loop while you set things up still. Oh, as in, as a one-off. I see what you mean. Okay, we definitely do want our ships going via the anomaly. This is our uh, our address, and this is the stuff that we're asking for the ships to bring. Um, minus what we've already got. Doop -a doop green leaf. If that's not a Vitamelange planet, it's a coal planet. <laughs> Okay, makes sense. Uh, what was the most recent outpost that I made besides this one? I think it was Toucan, and that was set as time equals 35. So this will be time equals 40. Um, and we need to set... Tell the ship that it is going home via Foenestra. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be 1180 moon orbit, which is Hagen orbit. Fantastic. Uh, this one's probably superfluous if we're going via Foenestra, but I don't care. And the Vitamelange core fragment ID is... 17. Okay, so if this is equal to 17 plus 3, uh, that'll be 1 plus 16. And it also passes through the, the moon orbit to go straight home if we were doing that, which we're not. I'm still crashing rockets to establish... Wait, no, this, this is the part that goes on the memory cell. So yeah, uh, up here is where we don't need moon orbit, actually. Whoops. I'm still crashing rockets to establish my initial outpost moons, indeed. So you can 
but it might not be the best approach. It costs a ton of liquid rocket fuel, and the further they're going, the more they're going to crash. Crashing first one each. Yes, yes. Asteroid belt. Alright, we've got some... Let me just check that doesn't cross-pollinate. Uh, we've got a few charged packs already. The trains should be able to use them very efficiently. Since they've got the additional electric engines. Uh, whatever, close enough. This one will get all the, the power packs from upstairs first, anyway. Alright, off you go. And I should probably check that the trains can path everywhere that we've built. Looks like it. And if they can't path back to the elevator, we're going to find out the hard way. Oh. Didn't think of that, did I? <laughs> okay, then. Um, how, wh why? Why did this get cliff exploded? What? I don't recall you... Did this... Did the energy beam hit it? That doesn't block it up, does it? What? Also, why is this unpowered? Oh, probably because those should be... Or this one should be a pylon. A substation pylon. Is this the Snowpiercer mod? <laughs> Twitching, welcome in. Personally, I like using cargo rockets for everything inside system and ships for intercell travel, but my personal transport ship. Fair enough. Tiny Goliath, welcome in also. Does, does anyone have the slightest idea why we keep finding coal mining drills that we've placed before on this planet only, where cliff explosions have happened to seal up the core drill? I, I don't get it. Let's go fix this power pole first, and then we'll add a little bit of rail to fix that mistake. I am this guy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I want to go this way? I don't think I can. In that case, we'll go up here. and pew and like like that put a landfill a landfill and go fantastic should probably signal that that should be fine it's a bit awkward but what are you going to do I could also have that rail go straight over here I guess that might look a bit tidier, question mark? Uh, what? Sure, why not? Why not? It definitely looks a bit less sketchy. Um, 
and we might need another signal if the trains were to go as, through here as fast as possible. But... Well, actually... Oh, that was supposed to be here. That's probably enough. Okay. Signals, rails to the right, not up. Yes. Correct. Have you just placed a signal, a single signal with that just block the returning trains out from east? Well, the trouble was the train was too long to go back this way. With where the station was. I guess I could have moved the station over, but it's fine. This is fine. Alright, um, I wouldn't be surprised if we already had a ship on the way here. Oh, except for the fact that I didn't configure this part yet. That might help. Alright, let's steal from ourselves once more. And I believe it goes here. If we want to be pedantic, which, yes. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, and then green signal up here. None of this needs changing except for that number has to be our address. And we're checking if the timer back at home uh, is talking about us. Red wire for this one. And green wire for this one. So if we've got, well, back at home it checks for um, 9,000 core fragments, which we've already got way beyond. Um, if home base hasn't had this address on the memory cell for at least five minutes, then we can request a ship uh, if core fragment Vidamelange at the drop-off is less than 10k. And, yeah. If planet orbit not equal to this, output T1, memory cell for a time of a T that also shuts off under that condition. Uh, and then T has to be greater than zero, and then we've got a constant combinator to offset it by negative 18k. In other words, five minutes. And then over here, we're just passing through the time signal, which is the whole point of the central clock. Uh, and if all those conditions are met, if we've waited five minutes since a ship was sent here, uh, you can report back to central again. Uh, it may or may not have already sent a ship. Okay, it's definitely sending a ship now. Just switching that off got rid of our offset. And yeah, we won't see that start ticking up until a ship leaves um, to pick up from this location. Which is taking a bit longer than I was expecting. Are you guys okay? Oh, there's no, there's no ships here, that's why. It probably already sent a few to come here. Alright, uh, how many ships do we have that are on their way to Foenestra right now? Ion Hauler 1, 10. This one's head of Foenestra. 816 is not this location, I'm pretty sure. It's like something 40 or 60? 840. Uh, why is this one, like, invisible? Oh, it just landed somewhere. <laughs> okay. Um, closest Vorion. Where the hell is Vorion? This one's headed back. Do 
do we really not have a ship on the way yet? Huh. Do we need more ships? We don't have a single ship queued up at Hagen Orbit, apparently. No, we do. Oh, for fuck's sake. Not that I expected to have fixed this yet, but... Iron Hauler 22. And... What is that? I see a zero. Is that Iron Hauler 10? And maybe number two as well? Where are the ones... Okay, we've got like five. Oh, this one's headed for Felnestra. Here we go. This one's on its way. What's its location? It just left. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see. Number nine is working. Number 22 has this unbelievably rare bug, which is extremely frustrating. Makes no sense, and we've gone over this a dozen times. Uh, so does number 20. This one's fine. And this one's fine. Okay. I think I'm just going to give up trying to solve it and make it so that if they somehow launch without a proper destination, so their destination remains Hagen Orbit, and they're trying to clamp to target left clamp 1, we're just going to give them somewhere to land. And I'll have to have... Oh, the reason I haven't done this is I would have to have, theoretically, up to like 17 vanilla train stops to offer whichever type of core fragments. Yeah. This happens extremely rarely, which makes it incredibly difficult to debug. We've gone over this a million times, but basically the ship absolutely shouldn't be launching if there are still core fragments. It shouldn't be launching if there are bots in motion. We have checks for these things. We've also got a timer that makes it not launch for five seconds after every launch condition is met. Um, it, it shouldn't even report that it has a ship ready to launch until core fragments have been emptied. This bug got much rarer than it already was when we set it up so that ships can't land until there's room to empty them all at once. And... No matter how many times we step through the logic, I cannot find an instance, a, a way, a theory, where the ship would get a launch signal before it gets a signal for a destination. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to give up trying to solve it and just have a drop-off that is anchor to target left clamp 1 that deals with every possible core fragment. And because we're giving it to vanilla train schedules, we need a separate train stop for every single one of them. It's rare enough to use LTN to deliver to the drop-offs. Um, I can't, they just go straight down the space elevator. Except for Vitamelange core fragments, which, that have the one exception of... Um, being demanded by tier 4 bioscience. That message spam is sus? They all have that space pipe issue. Yeah, they're trying to drop it off, like, here, I think it is? This is our anchor spaceship left clamp ID 1. This is the spaceship we found before we had the technology and reshaped it, and I slapped it together to pick up core fragments, copper core fragments from Muir. This is our, one of our earlier prototypes of what we're doing now. Miclet? 
good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Pink pajamas, welcome in also. You'd also need to change the core fragment on that copy-pasted combinators. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's... I've done that. No, like, the drop-offs request space elevator cable, so they could request fragments too, and bots can solve it from there. Uh, okay, I'll just step through what happens here. So, basically, ship lands. It's only allowed to land if the blue chests here are empty enough so that we can empty it all at once. Um, making that change made this bug happen far less often. Conditions before we report to Central that we've got a ship ready to launch are core fragments in the ship equals zero. There is a problem with the way the logistic network reports that in that a robot that's headed towards something to pick it up reports a negative as if the, as if the item's already been picked up, kind of. Um, so theoretically it's possible to have some left and have this report that core fragment barrel equals exactly zero. We also check that every single logistic bot, uh, available logistic bots equals total logistic bots. So in other words, we're checking that every single logistic bot is either in a robot port or at least on its way back to recharge and get back into a robo port. Um, on top of that, we're checking for water and ion stream in the ship. Only when all four of those conditions are met do we report to Central that we have a ship ready, and uh, depending on the arbitrary order, how many ships are ready, uh, sooner or later it'll send what it's got on its memory cell through to here, on this memory cell. Uh, and then that's going to include pulsing stuff through to the memory cell on the ship, which sets the request for the big chest. So like space elevator cables, uranium fuel cells. I think the uranium fuel cell request gets set unconditionally as soon as it lands. But um, stuff like ammo and space elevator cables and maybe bots and power packs um, get pulsed onto this memory cell, same as the destination in case we're going via Foenestra. Um, and what's happening occasionally, somehow, is the ship is launching... Uh, I believe it has... Yeah, it actually has its destination... It's requesting space elevator cables, but they didn't get delivered. Hmm. For it to get a request for space elevator cables and stuff, it would have had to be report. It, it would have had to have been reporting that it didn't have core fragments for a time. That's what's so weird about it. It would have had to be, have been refueled, which takes a little, a few minutes anyway. Well, not a few minutes, a, f a few moments, like maybe a minute. Um, did it really eat up that much ion stream with one launch? Are we getting a hint? 7.8k out of 10k for each container. Can we find a ship that just left Hagen orbit? Here we go. 9,000. It seems like... It seems like this is happening when a ship double launches somehow. Like, for it to have 7.8k ion stream remaining... I think, and this one's about the same, it's a bit lower even. Or it's just launching 
the moment it gets back. But you would think the bots wouldn't have removed like 90 something percent of the core fragments, if that were the case. If it was somehow double launching, I think we would have very close to 8,000 out of 10,000 for each container here. And I don't know how that would happen anyway. I think this is when it's on its return trip, it's somehow... It somehow lands and immediately launches. Which shouldn't be possible. Like, if a ship just dropped off core fragments, can we find one? Not right now. Oh, we're actually not saturated on... Okay, we're pretty much saturated on the site cave core fragments. If a ship just dropped off something... There should still be core fragments, like a significant number of core fragments in these blue chests. And it would be giving out the red signal so that we don't land another ship yet. The moment the ship launches, we reset the memory cell both here and back at Central. That all happens within, like, five ticks. If a ship were to land here while there was still stuff on the memory cell? It would, it would literally have to happen within a few ticks after the first ship launched. And then... And then these conditions wouldn't be met any longer. The memory cell that has the spaceship launch signal the timer should give up. The, the more I think about this, the more it makes no goddamn sense. Seems like it's dropping the signal at some point. What do you mean by dropping the signal? The LTN drop-off here goes to a purple chest. So perhaps this one exception... LTN smart loader. There's no... There's no provider state. Uh, there's no requester station requesting core fragments from LTN, except for Bioscience. It's only vanilla schedules picking them up. That's that's the reason I can't use a smart loader. Because vanilla trains be cringe. And apparently, we need more ships as well. If this is sitting full for this long. Um, it was 8.40, wasn't it? I, it probably already came and left, but I thought we had a ship headed for Bombato. We do. Here it is. Uh, 4.3 thousand? 4.3... 4.4 thousand once it gets to 10. I just want to double check, actually, that it sets its... Uh, there's no reason why this should fail, but I want to confirm and witness that this actually will be headed for Bombato. Vanilla trains are cringe? Yes. Yes, they are. There's so many things that you can't do with them, no matter how clever you are. And you need one train per resource minimum. And you need specifically X number of trains per resource to keep up with the throughput. It's terrible. Name three things? Didn't I do it already? Send the construction train back for batteries while you debug? Um, I guess I could do that, yeah. Construction ship. 
it's kind of a spectacular waste of ion stream just to bring back some batteries. But do we care? I think I'd rather not have this one exception where there's not three trains and then we have to sort of remember it if we want to change it. Okay, fine, I'm going to design it. How much life support do I have? Two hours? Perfect. Oh, we didn't finish designing this either. I think I have some more space that we can use down here. Oh. Space. Now then. Should have just brought it up this way. Preferably fit it inside a train block, if we can. Big if. You don't want fewer trains on your highest throughput planet? What do you mean? Of course we want fewer trains, we want the minimum to do the job. Plus a little bit. Okay, um, let's place this, and what was I about to check? I think I forgot while I was waiting for that. Something in orbit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. So there's, uh, 16. 16 types of core fragment we could theoretically need. Although I'll probably never do... Crude oil. I'll definitely never do crude oil or mineral water uh, or rare metals, more than likely. But it's the principle of the thing. Can we fit 16 stations? Whoops. Oh god. It's not enough to fit 16 train stations. We need to do the whole bang with this uh, uh, the spaceship drop off as well damn it I had a blueprint for this that I borrowed let's go get another one copy vitamelange core fragments no snap to Let's chuck it down here. Okay. So instead of whatever type of resource, we need some arbitrary signal to represent this drop off. I don't know if I... I'm sure I can't fit it in the same space, actually. Hmm. We're definitely not squeezing 16 train stops in here. Might have to use a whole other rail block for that. Well, we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I don't know how we're resupplying the ship. I could borrow bots from one of the existing ones. That sounds horrible, actually. Like, really horrible? Uh, sure. How would I even fit... 
16 train drop-offs in one block? I don't think I can. I think this would have to spend multiple blocks. Are you sure you can't use LTN Smart Loader to deliver them to the unloader blocks? Yes. The bots will take from the purple chest at the unloader. The... Like, I could just send them back to the mall, right? And we've already got a system here that says if you've got 150 stacks of anything, offer it to LTN with very high priority. So if I just make sure I have enough storage here and let all of the core fragments come back this way from those bug chips... Uh, if I had, like, I, I would have to make what I did in a bunch of different places, actually, including here. This is the simplest example. LTN drop-off, vanilla train pickup. Two stations, just to make this happen. Because we can't use LTN to take core fragments down the space elevator. So I would need... 16 pairs of train stops um kind of like kind of like what we've been doing here but like it should be totally unnecessary that's what's so frustrating uh, frustrating about this bug the one way i know to build a workaround for it is just obscenely wasteful Can we at least fit... Can we at least fit, uh... 16... train stations... in the one block. I think we probably can. We'll just have to have probably two blocks. One to deal with the spaceship, and one to offer the core fragments, which it's it's going to take a long time as well. I'm, I'm honestly tempted to just crush them. Can I even do that? Pretty sure I can. Because it's going to take such a long time to get a whole trainload of core fragments from these bugs. Like it has to be the same type of core fragment over and over. We've been leaving the system running for many hours with more than 20 ships. And we've currently got two ships that are stuck from this bug. Um, so we can just... This is the one thing that we can't just delete? Really? Really, really? Come on, man. Uh... The one time it would have been really good to just sacrifice some resources. How cruel. Why are there two recipes for this? Yeah, we can't crush core fragments. Not in a way that deletes them. So I would need, like... Unless I use crafting combinators, I would need 16 different... Core fragment processes? Just to break them down into something that we can delete? Another option, one train to take stuff down, but it mixes everything, then use LTN to distribute it. That might actually be a lot smarter. Um, I would have to go and... This is already an LTN train stop. Okay. I was going to say I would have to go and replace 
the vanilla train stops for the drop-offs for these core fragments. But I think maybe all re they already are LTN train stops. Um, entity. That's more than I was expecting. The copper ones are vanilla. These are all depots. The this is not for the core fragments. Is it really just going to be copper? Literally like one or two stations that we need to update? Might be. Have a block that sorts it right there. Well, that's what I was thinking of to begin with. But then we would need 16 different train stops for the vanilla trains to pick them up in orbit. But no, that actually, that actually sounds like a much better idea. So we'll have another, uh, another drop-off slash dispatcher just like this. Probably put it down here. It'll have... Anchor ID 1. We'll have to update... Here it is. Chimera. Just creeping along. We're going to have to change this to something else. Anchor ID for our old ship that we want to replace eventually anyway. Uh, how about three? Chimeras have three heads, right? No, wait, we're already using three. Uh, three, three, three. How's that? Three, three, three. Anchor to triple three. And change this one to triple three. And we should, from the bugged ships, stop seeing pipe is in the way. Because it just doesn't have a valid target, period. Yep. Okay. So... We'll have ID 1 drop off down here, or maybe up the top. I think I'll put it down here. We'll have requested chests that take every type of core fragment. And we will not summon a train until... I'll add up all the different core fragments uh, instead of, like, anything greater than some amount. Um, we'll just say summon a train as soon as core fragment totals... Uh, what is it, 200? No, 2,000. Each times one output C for count. When C is greater than 2,000. I could use enable disable, because we'll only ever need one train for this one. Reminder, is the construction ship waiting at the anomaly? I believe so, thank you. In orb. Off it goes. Yeah, so let's see. Think this through real quick one more time. Mostly the same type of drop off. We'll have train with dedicated schedule to take it down to a block downstairs. Uh, this block will offer. We'll, we'll use Robot Network to offer all types of core fragments to LTN. I, w I wouldn't even necessarily need to use robots for this one. Because... Well... 
Actually, no. With I don't think one container is going to cut it. If I did a warehouse... 512 stacks. Um, well, I don't have to know the stack size, even though it's 20. If we had, like, the minimum possible, like, perfectly even distribution of different core fragments, so it takes as long as possible to get a whole train load of whichever type, uh, we need 512 divided... It, we'd only have five train loads. 100 stacks per train. So yeah, I think we probably should have... Yeah, we'll use bots, we'll have a bunch of storage chests. Uh, we need to figure out... 1600. We need 1600 stacks. Or... let's call it four warehouses. Uh, four warehouses of storage? I can start designing this part right now, actually. That'll be easy. I can design it almost as easily as I can describe it. Did I already blueprint this? I think I did. I didn't get around to blueprinting the non-iridium ingot versions of these, which are not going to need the pipes. I definitely want to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want to go and make all of these. Even though it's going to cost a lot of spaceship floor, that's going to save a ton of UPS. Unless you're going to smart filter taking down whole trains? You only need 100 stacks because you only need one train to take them down. Yeah, but we're getting random types of core fragments. So in the worst possible case, if we got an even distribution of different core fragments, uh, we would need up to 1,600 stacks of storage. But to make sure that we get 100 stacks of whichever type of core fragment to trigger a delivery. Can you reiterate the problem that you're having? Uh, sure. So basically, occasionally ships launch when they're not supposed to, from Hagen Orbit, with a destination of Hagen Orbit, and a lot of the time they still have core fragments in them. And we know how to catch them. They're all trying to anchor at target left clamp ID 1, which doesn't exist. Uh, so we're figuring out a, like, multi-drop-off, which I avoided building in the first place, just to catch that exception. We've been over the... We've stepped through, like, why is this happening a million times? It doesn't make sense. There are so many safeguards against this happening, but it does. And it's very, 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 very rare. So you don't want to sort them on the ground. Yeah, we're going to sort them on the ground. Sort them in orbit, but share the train, you mean? We're going to take them from orbit with a dedicated train that doesn't care what type of core fragments it has. Uh, and then we're gonna... let me borrow this one, I think. That's space rail. Let me borrow this one, I think. Uh, we're gonna sort it down here somewhere. I don't think we're gonna need a whole block to space this. Rice from New Zealand, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do I have like a half block or something somewhere? I've got this that we haven't used yet. Okay, I kind of want to try and make this fit in like a quarter of a block. If we can. So we're going to have... Train drop off. This will be a vanilla train stop. It unconditionally takes whatever is being given to it. And this goes into four very large containers. In fact, I could just put them here. That should be a, a bulk rail unloader. 
And that highlighted text is probably telling me exactly that. Nope. Do you share blueprints? Yes. Most of them are on the Discord. Welcome, Just. I haven't played this game, but it sure looks interesting. Factorio, or like the mods, uh, Space Exploration K2. We don't need any wires here. I just want to double check. I'm pretty sure the bulk rail unloaders will automatically place stuff into those containers. They do. Fantastic. And then we'll just have a single Roboport over here. Should honestly be way more than enough. Well, not way more than enough. It's the minimum. But I think you know what I mean. 50 Logibots should be way more than enough. We'll need a logistic network. Uh, pick up, but instead of using bulk rail loaders, we'll need some smart loaders. And I just want to keep this as simple as possible. Um, we're just going to do a chest big enough to go into both uh, cargo wagons. We're going to do... I could even make it really simple and just say stack size 1. So it doesn't need any smarts to load it and it's never going to jam. Uh, and I want to... No, we need a filter. We need to set filters. Yeah, we may as well put some smarts in. Is that going to reach... The logistic train stop output, that's annoying. I guess there's no wire connection to the containers on the ship? No. No, there's not. There can't be. Because we're using buffer chests, we can only uh, detect what's on the ship indirectly. So we basically... This logistic network has filtered storage chests and nowhere for... Hormonite core fragments to go except the blue chests. Blue chests are not counted when we ask um, when we ask the robot network what we've got. So right here you see it doesn't list Hormonite core fragments. So if there are Hormonite core fragments in the logistic network, we know they're on the ship. At the other end, we read from these wires so we know what's in all of these chests, which is the only other place that uh, Vitamelange core fragments can be. So when we read from the logistic network and then subtract what's in these chests, we know what's in the ship. Because we can't set requests and read contents at the same time with a wire or two wires. Unfortunately. Okay, so back to that build. Um, can I, what if I just made this a little bit bigger? Is that going to reach across? It does. Weirdly enough, this wire can go over here, but not over here. Um, but yeah, we're just going to... Set requests, um, and we're going to set filters, and we're going to set stack size to 1, because I'm not going to trust, like, the bots are going to start moving the stuff over here after the train arrives. Um, and we're only loading, well, only loading a thousand four fragments into each cargo wagon, but we're not going to be doing this very often. Um, so I'd rather just make something that's very simple and robust and not worry about the throughput here. So we're just going to set filters and set requests on this uh, 
request a warehouse based on the signal from the logistic train stop output, which is going to be what the train is asking for when it gets here. Is the ship back? As in the construction ship? It is. And does it have the batteries that I asked for? It does. Fantastic. Back to Foenestra with you. I have thought about putting in the memory cell that would make it automatically go somewhere. Um, but it would be pretty fiddly anyway. To do that manually. Okay. Uh, and we're just gonna have... Standard pickup station. Probably make it high priority, actually. Get rid of this crap. Come to think of it. Hmm. I think the... Oh, no. Won't, won't the, um... Won't the vanilla scheduled trains effectively take priority to drop stuff off here? Maybe? I think we'll eventually drop it off where it needs to go, actually. It'll probably just queue. To be honest, it would have probably been faster to go direct with all the forgetting we do. It's 40 minutes each way. I don't think so. It would also be a lot more fuel, and I don't know if we even have that much. We've got like 40k. Alright, so this is going to be random core fragment. How do I say random core fragment? Just put them all here? Lamel. This is going to be the dumbest station name. Well, we're never picking up Cryonite core fragments, we know that. Cavern, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Ugh, this is ugly. Let's just, let's just put like vanilla core fragments. Failure core fragment. Active pickup. Fragments plus recycling icon? Sure. Recycling. And then... We just need to empty this after the train leaves. I mean... We've got 512 stacks here. No, I think it might theoretically eventually fill up. Let's just... How do we say... Oh, I know. If there's no signal from the logistic train stop output, I'm pretty sure that means there's no train, right? That's one way to detect it. Yeah. Alright, so this one is just going to be... Empty the thing if... If everything equals zero. We're not reading from this chest. So if there's no signal from the logistic train stop output, chuck everything back into storage. Else, do nothing. That should be all it takes. And we'll call this, um, maybe a similar name. I think I wanted that default color. Um... Fragment... <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, fragment, recycle, but we'll include a vanilla train stop. And it's also a requester. Okay. And we can just make this unconditional. We don't we don't need to check what we've got here, because we're always urgently putting it somewhere else. Right then. Is that it? Am I? I need to go home to put some bots into that system. Where's our ship? It is at Fonestra. On butter orbit. Okay. So once we get back, we'll build that. Or rather, we'll put the bots into it. Connect RoboPort content to LTN. Oh yeah, good point. Very, very easy to do. Just like that. In fact, normally the wiring would be... I, I like to use green for what we're telling LTN what we've got, but that wire is a bit more easy to read, obviously. Read logistic network contents. Provide priority 100. Provide stack threshold 100. Train length. And that's it. Not even going to make a blueprint for this. It's a one-off. Alright, so this goes here. We're going to need some extra signals. Like so. I mean, we don't really need them. This area sees so little traffic, I could probably remove a lot of those signals, but it's fine. I should probably add some signals here, though. On the very off chance we end up with a train sitting here indefinitely, and this one needs to pick up from here. Uh, we need a requester warehouse in the old train. Just the one. On the way 10. That's, um... That's a little bit much. Oh, and what about storage warehouses? On the way 11. And loaded tastic. And construction train goes here. Whoops. And then we'll remove that. And I could be super lazy and just tell the bots to deke on this and then put it back. Apparently that's... where are the bots going? I think I'll not do that then. Whatever, I'll just leave it there. It's fine. And we're done. Alright, so what do we need on the uh, orbital side? Like I said, we need a... Uh, another drop-off. And I think I'll use the recycle signal to represent the ready ship for this one. And I guess... Do we get an everything equals zero true? No, there's going to be other stuff in the robot network. 
everything greater than zero, and I could do a constant combinator here to tell it ignore the stuff that we request up here. I could use this same com uh, combinator here, actually. Yeah. While I'm at it, maybe I could... How would I get all of these stations to bring core fragments straight to this place instead? It should never happen, actually. It's fine. And as for the mall, I'm not sure. Alright, so this will not be a logistic train stop. I mean, it can, but there's no reason. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't need two train stops for this one. Be a vanilla train stop actually. That looks kind of weird. In a way that somehow it doesn't look weird with the LTN stops. Alright, we're going to read from here. Actually, hmm. I don't think there's any point in limiting these. We don't want the train getting stuck waiting for a certain stack to be full. So it's just going to be something like... Well, we'll need a math combinator. Just to convert all of the other signals into a common signal. Each times one, output C for count, and then if C is greater than... Uh, we could say 2000. Or I could even wait till both of these are full before we bother. Or, instead of needing a depot stop for this train... I could have it wait here all the time, since this station belongs to this train and this train only. I think I will do that. So basically, let's do a charger right about here. Whoops. Actually, is that a whoops? Yeah, it kind of is. We'll need, um, how about a buffer chest? Looking for charged power packs. Into the train. And whatever else out of the train. I'm sure those will be fast enough. Oh, whatever, we've got a million of these. You know, now this part looks inconsistent. There we go. And... 
Where should I put a charger? About here. Another buffer chest. And the destroyed power packs are going to end up in uh, this thing. So that'll sort itself out. Okay. We're already requesting space train power packs. Oh, uh, we don't actually want... Yeah, 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 I might have to move... Here it is. Move the storage chest for discharged power packs. And then just have, like, a passive provider for these. We need to allow charged power packs. Actually, let me use the robot network. If charged power pack is uh, less than 120, I guess. Uh, make, make it like one stack. Why not? I'm sure the train throughput is going to be slow enough. So we don't need to worry about that. And we need to not have charged power packs spirited away. You have got mad circuit skills? Thank you. Bench Kobo. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so the discharged power packs go here for storage, and some of them get turned into charged packs, which do not get thrown out. The destroyed packs will. And why on earth do I have... Oh right, we always want to put destroyed logistic bots here. Yeah, 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 I had to give that a positive signal, because they would be on the ground and not in the robot network. That makes sense. Okay. Um... So that should be fine. Now, do we need to change anything else about this block? If... Oh, right, I changed my mind about this, didn't I? I want the train to leave when... When it can't be filled anymore. Or at least it, when it's got all of its stacks full. How do I... How do I... Hey, I'm new to Factorio. What do I do with petroleum gas? Uh, quite a few things. I could suggest there's a couple of mods. Uh, FNEI or Factory Planner. You can actually find out exactly what petroleum goes into very, very quickly. Good, good job, Fraser. In vanilla, a few things including plastic. Yeah, lots and lots of it goes into plastic, that's true. Come to think of it, we really don't need this massive fast unloading infrastructure this time. We can literally just put a request a chest here. Whoops. Oh, I can put them like like here actually. Yeah, that should be fine. Although they won't be balanced. They will if I limit like that. And I could also do that, but I'm not going to. 
Request from butter chests. All types of core fragment. Want to get into the groove. That should be enough since the chest will empty immediately. Um, on second thought, multiply that out by 48. So, 960? Yeah. Really? So if I drag off of this, it doesn't... It doesn't click. Alright, so every type of core fragment goes here. Um, and I want to say no train limit, but I don't want the train to leave unless, unless it's f as full as it can get. How do we decide that? I can read the train contents. I can't use a chain signal to say... Uh, I can't use a chain signal to... to enable disable, right? I can only read the signal. I guess I could always just put an extra one here. Okay, so we're going to read train contents. Uh, going to need some, some combinators. Decider or arithmetic? Probably arithmetic. Because we're going to combine it all into one. Read train contents. H times one. Output each. Because we can't guarantee that the train will be full. I could just say lots of inactivity, then it would cycle indefinitely. Hmm. I could only request 20 of each type of... Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, actually, that might be fine. Maybe I should have left this at 20. So, if we've got four fragments of potentially each type in these little containers, and then train has to be full before it leaves, and if a ship Has a bunch of core fragments, it'll end up in both of the... Yeah, that, sh that should work, right? God damn it, now I have to go back and set these to one stack each. Whoops. Oh, wait, no. Isn't that the same problem as I was describing before? We could end up with, like, slightly less than a trainload of Vitamolange core fragments, and then we fill up on other core fragments here? 
Yeah, I want the train to leave as soon as every stack is full. Which... Uh, is tricky to calculate, because each stack could be... Minimum 1, maximum 20. Although for any one resource, only one of them, one stack would be below 20. Uh, at this rate, I'm going to be doing some calculations with modulus. New players, once you hit fluids, it can start to become a bit discouraging. Yeah, the oil... Uh, what is it? The green science packs? Definitely the first really big hurdle, I would say. Yeah, that doesn't actually make a difference. Um, I could do the modulus math. So it's basically the remainder of division. Uh, each modulus 20 output each. If I give that 1, is it the same as... as like 19? I think it is. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't even need any extra math, actually. Where do I find this um, lab tile? There we go. Oh, let me put it up here, actually. Put this out of the way of the blueprint. It doesn't need to be perfectly full, just not empty, and it won't cycle. Well, if it's not empty, it's going to be carrying, like, practically nothing when it does cycle. Is the Hoko welcome in? Alright, so what we're going to do is... If we have 21, that'll be 2, right? No. Crap. Uh, that was looking super convenient for a moment there. So it... So if it's less than 20, modulus 20, it gives us a signal of 1. But if it's between 20 and 40, it also gives us a signal of what? Oh, no. It's... Mm -mm. I am a dub. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, what if I do divide it by 20? That might actually be what I was looking for. Uh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I want, if it's 1 to 19, I want it to output 1. If it's 0, I want it to output 0. And if it's 21, I want it to output 2. But if we just uniformly add 1, then... Then it's going to be incorrect it for each type of core fragment that's zero. We could do each plus one, right? That'll only add one... S Hold on. Yeah, yeah, they, that should add one to only the signals that we've got, right? Each plus one. Okay. So each divided by 20, and then that plus one. So if our... Yeah, 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 I think that's it. If we have one core fragment... Uh... That's not right. That's not right. If we have 21, it's taking up two stacks. That is correct. If we have 19, it thinks it's taking up zero. That's the same problem as we had before. If we have 41, it knows it's taking up 3. Well, if it's only incorrect for the first stack, is that a problem? If we have exactly one stack taken up by a certain resource, yes. Yes, it is. Uh, I guess I could... We're going to need more combinators. Decide a combinator. Each less than 19, or less than 20, output one each. And then 
just the output from these two should be correct I think no that should be three hold on if we have one it's one stack if we have 19 it's one stack if we have 21 it thinks it's one stack so from now on it's going to be wrong in wait uh, now, from now on, it's going to be wrong in the opposite direction, right? Yeah, now it's like one stack under. But not for the first one. Uh... Ay, ay, ay. Hold on. 1 to 19 is one stack. 21 is two stacks. H plus one. Over here. And then also add one if it's below 19. That might be it. Okay. So at 21, we have two stacks. At 19, we have one stack. At 1, we have one stack. Uh, at 41, we have three stacks. Perfect. At 61, we have four stacks. I think it's working. Time to build that train and head home. Fair enough. Where's our ship? You know, I hate that I have to do all this, but it's going to be really nice to see the back of ever having to think about that bug again. I've already got some trains. Okay. should be the correct schedule. It is not. How about this one? How would I even... Oh, that works. Cool, cool, cool. And... Some fuel... Why is there only two on the way? Is it that slow? I guess it is. Give me these. And... off you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. We don't have... that's one less thing to remember. Three cargo wagons lo long? Oh, no. No. No, that... No. No. <laughs> no. Where is it? Why is it gonna stop? Uh, in kind of a convenient location, at least. I know. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Okay. 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 Can I give it the one that's already got stuff in it? Fantastic. That was a terrible waste of 99% of a charged power pack, but what can you do? That should be full already. There we go. Well, it's obviously going to throw some of these stations off, but they'll probably be saturated. Actually, I can just rebalance this one. And I should probably rebalance this one as well. Inri Inri, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, 
close enough. It won't be as perfectly balanced as if we built this and then started the drill because belt length is a thing, but that is not going to be enough of a problem for anyone to care. And did we finish scorching? Nope. Look at those hit points. 5k still. 4k. 3k. He's just he's just taking a warm shower in the energy beam. Um but yeah, I think we're actually very, very close to being able to trim this surface and declare bite as extinct on this planet. Alright, shift C. That didn't work. That'll do. Actually, I want to keep some of these on me. And let's head back to Foenestra and then Hagen Orbit. Okay, so back to the build. Um, so we've got our count of how many stacks we need to do each times one output some common variable because if we have different stacks perfect okay so c has to be uh i guess i could say equal to 100 but just to be safe i'll say greater than or equal to 100 And could I perhaps line this up so that we can easily make that work? I think the answer is a yes. What if I swapped those around? Would that look any better? I don't think so. Alright, uh, let's give it our test data. And we're going to read train contents. Five stacks. Between these two. One, two, three, four, five. Seems correct. And then we're just going to say... Train is not allowed to leave... Unless, if C is less than 100, Rain is not allowed to leave. But can a train, I'm pretty sure the train can go in if that signal is closed, right? Right. And then give it some X. Will this even work? I thought moving trains don't load. Uh, crap. I hope you're wrong about that, but I think you're right about that. Oh, it's so slow. Hmm. Okay, so it. I'll give it another train stop somewhere. Make sure it wants to leave. It's not able to leave right now. Oh, destination full? How about. How about no? Okay, so now it's trying to leave, right? Yes. And if we put some. Four fragments in here. 
they do not get into the train. Hmm. Okay, I should... Hmm. I can put it in, in the train schedule, right? We can... Send something to train? Instead of using these extra signals? That's actually going to be an improvement. Get back here. Could I put this here without it looking too weird? Sure, probably. And we're just going to have red wire go back this way. So we're going to read train contents, send uh, send to train. We're not going to set train limit. And we're going to say condition is circuit condition C greater than or equal to 100. And that might actually work. Let's just do a little void thingy over here. What? Oh, it didn't actually have a con it it didn't actually have a condition to stop. Uh, it looks like it's working. Yeah, it looks like it's working. I wish we didn't need four combinators for that, but that's not too bad. Uh, let's give it some robots. And that's not... Where are those even going? Oh, up here? Sure. It's going into the train. Oh, this isn't an unloader. Well, there's your problem. There is your problem. Just put a couple of these over here for testing. Empty cargo. That went in here way too quickly. I'll just have to remember to put those back, I guess. Now then, let's say we have... some core fragments. We'll just do three types. Actually, could I instead put that over here? We're going to read from the robot network. We're going to put a sort of quasi-random amount of each into, into the robot network. So it filters blacklist, but we'll have a constant combinator. Where's my constant combinator? Apparently this just keeps getting emptied immediately. No, I want it to stop at... Uh, I think I'll have to just arbitrarily give it a few. We just need a little bit more right now. How about some vit core fragments? Like 13. And then turn that into a Passive provider, and our train is full. It already is full. Wait, what? Why is there 20 here? Didn't I set it to 13? Oh, I didn't tell it to remove excess. Fine. I'm realizing I should probably just limit the bulk rail loader to one stack. Uh, 
Okay. Why is the train still here? C is... It's not detecting anything. Oh, it's not connected, that's why. That's why. Alright. We're gonna give it a very specific set of inputs this time. Mm, but not before the train comes back and then dumps all of this. Maybe at Foenestra by now. Vegan Orbit. Well, on the plus side, uh, this made me solve a new problem that I didn't uh, have experience with, and that was kind of fun. Alright, just, just go. And I want to delete this. That'll do. Maybe I should set these to one stack each as well, actually. It's all going to be one type of core fragment at a time when they first get here. A ship does, that is. Alright, so we've got four... You know what, just give me this back. We're going to have... Um, what's 100 divided by 3? 33? How about 30... 33 and a bit... Like, just above 33 times 20. 661. 661 exactly. 661 exactly. 661 exactly. And then, don't remove unfiltered items. Oh, does this have not enough room for all that? Okay, fine. Six, six, one, exactly. So we've got uh, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3, 102 stacks. But we're obviously going to end up with some stacks that are not full in our train. And then we're going to not remove unfiltered items. We're going to get rid of the requests. And we're going to put all of that into a provider. And it's going to end up in the train. And I think the train is going to leave as soon as it's as full as it's going to get. I forgot that we have 200 stacks to play with. Other than that, the plan was perfect. Let's just do that again. C is 99? Wait, why is C 99? Why is C 99? We tested this. Okay, well let's look at the information. Um, our train has 720, 638, and 597. 720 is 36 stacks of regular core fragments, 638 is 32 stacks, was it, sorry, 34 for the first one? 720 over 20, about uh, 36, oh, I can see it up here, dub, uh, three, uh, 638 over 20, And 597 over 20, which is 30 stacks. But no, I didn't mean... No! I have to do that again. 
And the condition to leave is C is greater than or equal to 100. Getting 99 instead. Even though we've clearly got 100 stacks full in the train. Alright, let's try that again. Um... Oh, it's because there's two cargo wagons. Oh, that complicates it. Alright. We're just going to say the train has to be mostly full. I'm just going to set it to, like, greater than or equal to 95 stacks or something. Because it's not going to calculate it quite right, because it's split across two cargo wagons, therefore we can get... For example, one core fragment in a stack on this side, one core fragment in a stack on this side. Which adds up, according to the math, that thinks there's only one container to one stack. Maybe I should just do a small, a small train. There's not going to be much throughput with this. Let's do a small train, then it will actually be accurate. Number of stacks too big, train full, indeed. Um, yeah, let's, let's make it a short train. Why not? I'm trying to want that to be... Whoops. We'll still use a bulk rail loader, I think. And we don't have to worry about balancing them. Where'd my cargo wagon go? I could maybe position it so that we don't get the weird looking rail. Just for the hell of it. Oh. Oh, the front one's always going to look like that. Whoopsie daisy. My undo levels aren't undoing. Alright, fine. So we have just the one cargo wagon. Which means, um, which means that build downstairs actually can be trimmed down a little bit. Let's get our construction train involved. I have to wait till this is removed before I can place the rail. Cool. Um, this should stay the same though, I think. Oh, we should probably... I just realized we should still have four storage warehouses. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Otherwise you'll unload the storage warehouses. Okay, okay, okay. And then I would have to request them again and stuff. Hopefully the train still has them. Fantastic. All right. Uh, I do need to go seed that with 50 Logibots. It's either that or make a train stop that would automatically get it started, and I don't want to bother with that just for this. We'll have our little speedy train just wait here till I come back up. Small train wins again, indeed. It makes total sense because we're going to have such limited throughput with this as well. 
Number of stacks. Yes, yes, yes. Cat and tree. Good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Running late. Is the new VIT outpost up and supplying? It is, actually. I wonder if this is saturated yet. It is not. We might need more ships. Uh, I'm pretty sure the new outpost is, like, constantly saturated. But our Vitamelange core fragments back at home are not. On second thought, we might need another train for Vitamelange core fragments. Okay. Um... You know, I could put this thing right here even, but that would mess up the name and base stuff. 50... Why do I have 37 Logibots? Whatever, it's probably way more than we need here. Is that third train on the outpost enabled after the incident? The incident. How ominous. Oh, fa la la la. Uh, go to Foenestra. Wait, why the bloody hell is this going to Gibble Orbit? Um. I may have given it the wrong ID somewhere? What's, what's Gibil Orbit? Uh, automation signal, Moon Orbit 1172. I don't remember having that anywhere recently. Why would they leave Vazanus Orbit to go to Gibil Orbit? Okay, it's headed for Phonestra. Bombato. Uh, did we start the new train? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, yes, it's on automatic. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and it is able to path that way. Okay, so... Anomaly... Moon Orbit 1180. I don't get it. Moon Orbit 1180. It's the same. Moon Orbit 173, that's our local address. Uh, planet Orbit, rather. This should be Planet Orbit 840. Planet Orbit 840. Planet Orbit 840. Anomaly, yes. That's really alarming. How would a ship leave Bombato orbit with the destination of Gibil orbit? This is a this is literally a copy paste job. This was set to 1179 by default. Um but that shouldn't be an issue. Is Bombato listening to the right channels? Central clock, central dispatch. Gibble orbit's not on 40, is it? I'm kind of hoping it is, because that would explain it. But I thought Gibble was 35. That was the last one we made. That's why. Yeah, that's why. They're transmitting at the same time, back to central. 
And we didn't see problems at first because Gibil didn't happen to be transmitting because uh, it already had chips on the way or something. Okay. This needs to be 45. So basically the shared uh, channel they were transmitting on simultaneously when they really, really need to take turns. And I don't know how we ended up with that result. Because, like, I'm sure that's the reason why, but I don't know how we ended up with a ship coming to this location and having Gibil orbit on its memory cell or something. I don't know. I, ho I hope they're all fixed now. What's this guy's problem? No energy. There's no fuel in here. I'll be happy to see the back of needing nuclear reactors. I I there's literally no energy. I can't... Um... I can't get the inserter to put uranium fuel cell in. These ships are haunted, <laughs> indeed. Uh, so we got Logibots in here, right? I need to make a train before we go rescue that ship. I also need to check for ships that are at Foenestra in like seven or eight minutes and not forget to send those back. It also might have caused some... Holy crap. Are any of these bugged, or are they just queuing? Um, empty? Empty? Not empty? That's... Fulminate core fragments. Barrel is definitely full. Purple is definitely full. That's stone. Stone is also full. Okay, that makes sense. Vitamelange, I don't think, makes sense. Why are we not anchoring? That's probably another side effect from that incorrect signal. Somehow. Hmm? Okay, it is trying to anchor at 18. Oh, this is 17? You're joking. I set those wrong. As well. Does that mean we're about to get flooded with the Vitamelange? Seventeen. Oh, this is the offset, so it's... Mm -mm. This should be sixteen, because we're adding sixteen to the one that it's already got. Okay. To fix this, all we have to do is anchor this guy. And there's probably a couple of ships, or like several, waiting with Vitamelange core fragments. From all the movies I've watched, ship rescues never go well. What do you mean? Event Horizon wet... Oh, wait. And this one's probably the same problem. 17. Yes, it is. This one is also the same problem. <laughs> this is the one we didn't fix from before. We're working on it. This is Beryl. That's fine. This is Holmanite. Uh, it's also that bug. Uh, this is more Vitamelange and also has the wrong ID. Um, 
this is... Yeah, we've got several shiploads. Literally several shiploads of Vitamelange that have come back from that outpost. Um, but none of them have been taking off again yet. Because I put a single number in incorrectly. Zetius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, let's finish this build while we wait for some of those Vic core fragments to empty. And... Whatever, this is fine for now. Uh, and this whole thing should be very reliable, actually. Um... Now that it's all happening with one, one big container, one uh, cargo wagon, it should all sort itself out. I just realized though, if I have a big container here, and we end up putting in different types of core fragments, it's pretty much always going to carry a bunch of partial core fragments. So I'm just going to limit this to one stack, and it'll go straight into the train anyway. That should be fine. Do I still need to do it in this requester chest? I think so. Okay, so let's do a test input, like a calculated earlier. What was it? 661? Just over 33 stacks? Yeah. No, don't do that yet. Uh. Dush Jonas? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Right, 661 of those, 661 of those, and 661 of those. And then remove the requests, give it a passive provider, give it some inserters, and we should see our train leave as soon as it has no stacks left. Did I miscalculate something? How? What? They came back here, didn't they? We need to do negative a million for every type of core fragment here, don't we? Okay. I think I've already got that over here. So... That won't take long. Let's try that again. Six sixty one. Why doesn't enter do anything? And six sixty one. Okay. And then remove requests, so we get exactly that amount. Uh, and then like this. No! Wait, 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 wait. Pause, 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 pause. Hey, it works! Look at that. As soon as the last stack is um, occupied... That's when the train leaves. So we can leave it parked here pretty much all the time. Nice, Sue. Good thing they all stack to 20. So how much do we... Oh. Oh, I had another train load somehow? 
Hmm. I was going to double check that the stack count was correct as it was sitting there, but I'm pretty sure it works. Very nice. So to step through that logic one more time, we read the train contents. We say each signal that's less than 20 output 1 over here. And we also say each divided by 20 output each, and then take that number and add 1, uh, and add that over here as well. And that gives us our count of stacks for core fragments. And then we just say circuit condition before the train leaves the stop is C is greater than or equal to 50. I'm pretty sure it's always going to be equal to 50, but we may as well be safe. So now it's time to actually build this thing. Um, I don't think we ever want to forbid ships from landing here. And, uh, mm hmm, oh yeah, yeah, I said I was going to do negatives. Everything greater than zero, and then we're going to do a bunch of negative numbers for all the stuff that is not core fragments that may be in this rail block. Um... That's also going to output X, Y. That should be fine. No, didn't we want everything equals? If we're looking for everything equals zero, we could say everything equals 50 instead. Uh, I could... Why do we have... What? Why are we getting a signal of one... Oh, right. That might help. Um, yeah, I could say... Well, I, I would need, like, a another decider combinator. Each greater than zero output each, and then if everything equals 50... What I'm trying to figure out is to say there are no core fragments left in the ship. Without putting 16 decider combinators for each. Each type of core fragment has to equal zero. Does that condition prevent it from fully... Filling the wagon, like it basically leaves as soon as it hits the minimum, even if it can put in a full stack. Yes, it does. Uh, it's not going to be too often that it would actually fill a full stack, I think. Because we're getting, basically randomly, we're getting different core fragments. And only a little bit at a time. Um, okay, so I think I'm going about this a little bit wrong. Um, look at the signals we're getting. I could just say X is negative 50, Y is negative 50. But what, then what about like the batteries and stuff? God damn it. Yeah, I need another decider combinator. Much as I don't love to have to add more combis. Each greater than zero output each. And then big negative numbers. Where's that? Each. There we go. 
each greater than zero, output each, big negative numbers for whatever signals we don't want. Um, we probably don't want to read X and Y either. I could go negative 50. No, we, we never want to read it. In this instance. Okay. So then... Each greater than zero output each, which currently is nothing. If we put some... Some core fragments in the Logi network. That's going to output nothing but the core fragments. And we'll, we'll test it for everything else that's supposed to be here. Um, that being cables, ammo, space train, power pack. Ammo. Space train, power pack. Um, repair packs, Logibots, where are the repair packs? Uranium fuel cell and water ice. Uranium fuel cell. I didn't realize this build would be so intricate. It's actually kind of interesting. Okay. So what's in the Logi network? All this stuff? Uh, did I forget ammo? Cables? Where are the cables? Did I, did I just not do the cables yet? I thought I did the cables. Yeah, they're here. Alright, what else? Uh, ammo, we've got... And that, that's all just ammo. Okay. So we should have... Everything that's requested here. In the robot network. Yes, 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 yes. Don't care about the fluids. Yes, and I think that's it. Uh, and here we've got negative for everything that's supposed to be in the Logi network. Except, of course, for the core fragments. Also minus uh, removing the X and Y signals. Now we can say if everything is equal zero output green. Because if we are detecting core fragments in the robot network, it means they are in the ship. Cool. Oh. That wasn't so... I mean, two more combinators, that's not so bad. Um, we don't... I don't think we ever need to say the ship is not allowed to land here. I could put in a little something. Maybe this would have prevented the problem in the first place. I doubt it. But put in a little something to say if... Uh, launch signal is equal to zero, or greater than zero, output red signal, and don't let a ship land here. But it's supposed to take a second for the ship to respond to an input like that anyway. Well, up to a second. 
and we've gone over it, the signal timing, the signal should be gone by the ship get by the time the ship gets there anyway. But yeah, no, I, if I'd thought of that before, maybe we wouldn't be doing any of this. Do I really want to try it? The thing is, I have to wait tens of hours, or even longer than that, before I start to gain some confidence that that probably fixed it, because it's an extremely intermittent problem. I could do both. Yeah, why don't I just create the parachute and then try to prevent the plane from getting shot down? And then we'll see if if this train never has anything to do, uh, we'll know that that, that fixed it. But I, I somehow seriously doubt it. Okay. Everything else here is totally generic. We don't need to change it. And we don't need a signal transmitter up here in this case. Because that one is to tell outposts not to request a ship if we've got lots and lots of that particular resource. May as well put a soft mattress in that ambulance at the bottom of the cliff, too. <laughs> Indeed. I don't want to fix this up. Get rid of these. And... We don't need any, like, wires connected to this. Oh, we do need that request a chest back. Fantastic. 100 times game speed won't help if it's happened to 55 UPS. What? Save it tonight, set game speed to 100 times. Yeah. Yeah, no. If, um, if we're below 60 UPS, we're not going to get anything extra out of trying to go faster. Also, the purple chests at the uh, drop off. Oh yes, thank you. Good call. Okay. Beautiful. Now, I am I am kind of pleased it made me invent this system though. Um, figuring out when this train was full of random stuff. Four combinators. Mm, it's not that bad. I'm always wanting to do do things with fewer combinators, but there are limits. All right, uh, I guess let's blueprint this thing. Uh, Eighty-six twenty-five one. No trains, only train stop names and tiles. Uh, and this is, I'll just say core fragment. Recycler. Where's that passive chest? I don't think there's supposed to be a passive chest anywhere. Oh, yes, there is. I see it. That's specifically for the charged power packs and the broken ones for a moment. All right, uh, let's call it bug catcher. Landing default landing spot for bugged chips. Empties. Excuse me, generic emptier. Takes core fragments to be dealt with downstairs. That would be a gigachat move though. Bring, uh, big base dropping your UPS just increase game speed. It's like troll science. 
Why is this offset? Uh, what? What? Why? Oh, I remember having this problem. Ooh, look at what it did to the rails. Yeah, I remember having this problem. It's because of the... It, it's because of the, um... The clamp. I think we just... Can't have... Like a uh... I think we just can't have it like rotatable actually. But worst case I'll just not use the usual snap to. I'll just do this. Nope. Not even. Alright, fine. Try again. No snap to grid. Just let the rails and clamp force a snap to. Frag, recycler, bug, capture. Uh, you know what? I'm going to call it exception handler. Or rare ship bug. Provides default landing clamp. Uh, generic unloader. Or fragments distributed by Altian downstairs. Cool. See for cat. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Where does this even go? I think... In here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do. Okay, so... Right about here... Get our scaffolding crane involved first. What? Why does it have steel gear wheels? Whatever. I'm not going to question it right now. We're just going to do this thing and then we'll empty the train after that. And I'll make a modern loader for the scaffolding train soon, TM. We are here to scratch your pillow and sleep on your face. Oh no. I forgot to copy the raid message, but we are here to... Yes. Professional Dave, welcome in. Seeforcat, how was your stream? Uh, we also need... Well, we're going to need a clamp, which we don't always carry. Which... Which one was I putting the clamp in? Oh, this is the new loader. Probably the back. Yeah, there it is. Oop. And... What are we not loading right now? The light isn't white. We're, we're one efficiency module short. <laughs> okay. Okay then, there we go, and park yourself over here, and we're just about ready to place this blueprint anew. Welcome, welcome, see for count. See for count? Count Seafula? Looks like that one's done. We're going to need to make a train as well. Oh yeah, I left this guy here. Even though I went on a interstellar 
expedition. Oh my lord, I think the construction train found those signals. I hope that's why we're lurching like this. Yeah, seems like that was it. C for count. Oh, hey, Osoro. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's weird. I could have sworn, like, the amount of time it takes for trains to repath every time this happens got reduced. Hmm. Love the UPS drop, indeed. I mean, at least it runs at over 50 when we're not placing signals. Alright, resupplies on the way. I think I need to go and seed this with it. Oh, no, nope, never mind. We got Logibots. How did we get Logibots here? I actually don't know. Oh, right. It got supplied with Logibots because it started working. Because one of the ships that was stuck, that had kidnapped some bots, landed here and it, and it brought Logibots with it. That's so cool. Very good. Wait, where are we going? I'm being kidnapped. Let me out. Um, okay, we need to make a small train. Whoa, that was scary. No. <laughs> that was so fast. And how did that other train survive it? And where did it even go? Well, there's a... Is there a damaged train out there somewhere, or did it not take damage? Oh <laughs> Does someone someone clip that? I need to see. I need to know if there's if I need to find a train to repair somewhere. I mean, I guess whatever train it was comes by here sometimes, so it'll eventually get repaired. Maybe. Can we need rename that train to Will? To Will. Like the coconut. Oh my goodness. Mojo D, welcome in. Good timing. Coming through, indeed. Still got two plants being lasered. Yes, 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 yes. Especially Nalvis. Uh, Nalvis has quite a lot of biters. That is going to that is gonna impact UPS a little bit. And a lot less once we actually clear them. Colonel Will. <laughs> All right. The famous choo-choo clip. Did someone clip it? Thanks, Veldak. I need to see this. Preferably in slow motion. Do we need to make a... Whoa, that was scary. Okay. And then... <laughs> I didn't need slow motion. The... <laughs> the train that crushed our poor space locomotive... Took no damage for some reason, and these trains don't have, um, they don't have shielding. Very weird. It was a train jam, his solution was to kill them. <laughs> well, that's just cruelty to trains. Alright, I think, uh, I, I think actually, I think actually we should not allow trains to pass through here while we are... Where are they even... What are they even picking up? Was it scrap? I, I think we should not allow trains to zoom through here while we're trying to build our new train. That might be a good idea. This train will be going downstairs sometimes. And we need some... What? Why Why do we have no... Uh, 
Oh. Oh, because I moved this. That's why. Do not select the railgun, please. There we go. Um, I'll just take some from the ship. That's fine for now. Since this thing will be going downstairs, it needs batteries, and since we want it to go fast and save fuel, advanced electric engines. Um, and I'll just put these straight in here. All right, so step one. Wait, did we build it yet? Kind of. We need a buffer storm box. Um, do we have room here? Why is our train confused now? It's got nothing on its schedule. Uh, buffer strong box. Just squeeze it on here somewhere. There we go. And I don't think there's any... Oh, it's loaded now. I was going to say, I don't think there's anything else it needs. Why are we dumping so much stuff? What? What? Train loader, you are drunk. Just, just go build this. Okay. So first stop is going to be here. This is sort of going to act like our depot. Condition is going to be circuit condition. C is greater than or equal to 50. That means it's full of four fragments. More disappointing was none of the dinner timers killed them? Killed exterminator? Wait, what? None of the dinner timers killed... Extern. I still remember Hofnix's disappointment even without watching the clip. I think we're placing some more rail signals. Funny in that clip we all accepted the fate except for Hofnix. That's the clip from Colonel Will, an old classic. Okay. <laughs> Science. Choo -choo. Oh my science. god, I have no, Choo -choo, no. <laughs> Um, all trains. Trains trains need self-defense too. Why is this buffer chest not getting... Oh, because it probably is getting charged power packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, we also need one of these over here. And I just realized I requested precisely one um, from our construction train. Sounds like it just got reloaded though. And construction train can give us a ride back as well. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Love kills me every time, indeed. Uh... Hey, we almost have a whole 
wagon full of Vit core fragments already. Uh, what? Oh, my bots are not active. That's why. So why are we not... We've got 50 Logi bots. If we're requesting 20... Okay, I think we should just remove the limit on this. There we go. It's probably fine. Alright, so this thing's already full. Uh, our first ship has actually been emptied. And it should be ready... Oh. Wait, 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 what? How did you launch? How... Did... How did you launch? Where did that launch signal come from? What? What? I was just about to comment about... What, does anyone know which number that was? Oh no. I was just about to comment that I haven't, like, linked it up to the main system so that it'll get dispatched. Where? How? How was... How was... How was launch condition? Is the same ship now waiting in orbit like the usual bug? Is is this it? It's empty. Its destination is Hagen Orbit, yeah. I think we just witnessed the bug. Now if only I could rewind and step through exactly what the circuits were doing one tick at a time. But like, look at this. Um the first step in getting a spaceship launch signal is that two things. There has to be something coming from the memory cell, which, spoiler alert, default channel, um, there should have been nothing there. Oh, if this was default channel, that might have been why. <laughs> Uh, I think that was probably what this needs to be a different channel. Um, recycled dispatch. Let me just borrow a train stop so we can put a symbol in. You can include uh, icons like this in these uh, channel names, but you can't type them directly. Yeah, a signal was sent through here and received here, and then we had something here, therefore this sent a launch signal. I don't think we just witnessed how that bug that got us here in the first place works. Skynet? Your circuits are self-aware now? Bro. Okay. Now we need a destination for this thing. Well, first of all, it's going down the space elevator, and then... Let me just take it off automatic. Down the space elevator... Um, what was the name of that station? Recycle... Core Fragment Recycle and a Vanilla Train Stop. Western. Um, how about Recycle? There we go. Uh, wait till empty. And then go up the space elevator. And that should be all we need for this schedule. Wait till full, down, wait till empty, up. And we get our fuel from... from where we get our pickup. Cool, cool, cool. Um, we're very, very slowly charging power packs. We've already got 60 on this side, and 40 on this side. I think 
it, it's got a very small backlog to work through. Uh, I don't think it's going to run out of fuel. The overall throughput's going to be extremely low. Let's let's see if this works. And now I'm realizing we didn't necessarily need one drop off. Like this, this would have actually been the solution to having a generic drop off if that's what we wanted to do. Although, considering all the different core fragments and high throughput for stack size, I don't think it's a bad thing that we've got these dedicated drop-offs for different core fragments. I mean, it would have allowed us to really simplify the system, though. But then, bottlenecking every single spaceship launch through one launcher... I definitely don't like the idea of that. Did this thing just leave with like... Oh no, it's almost full. Wait, it's almost full? How did it... How did it get going if this was empty? Whoa, whoa! Extra circle? What just happened there? Now we need an exception handler, exception handler. <laughs> no, we're fine. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I think we're done. I think that's all of our... Uh, core fragments from the two ships. I think it was just two ships that were stuck like that. We do still have a few ships we need to unstuck because they've got the wrong ID to drop off to Vitamelange core fragments. Uh, once this one launches, I can force one of them to land, and it's probably fine, but hey, we've now got the exception handler in case it causes that bug, which I don't think it does. I mean, it was exceptionally rare even before we changed the rules for them landing. And go. It's waiting for orders. If it's still waiting for orders, it sounds like our ships are all caught up. That would somewhat surprise me. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. It's got orders. And launch. Beautiful. All right, let's find one of these stuck ships with the wrong ID. And hopefully there's still room. Go, go, go. And I need to remember to do this two or three or four more times. Nice. I'm just going to put the recycle bag down here. Okay. And we never had a problem with our ships again. So once we have a uh, hundred stacks, so 2,000 of any given core fragment in this block here. Uh, we should have an LTN train coming to pick it up. Remind yourself Vit that processing on Hagen go burr? And in Indeed. Killer. Overconfidence is literally the best attitude to have, and there are never any consequences for being overconfident. Um... Why is everything saturated? Uh-oh. It's not everything that's saturated. Oh no. It's got something to do with these mines again? Really? Really? No. Really?
How does this happen? Uh, that should probably be a... That's why. Make this into a chain signal, and trains will only be allowed to go through it if they've got a train stop to stop at in that block. That's why. I think, uh, I think we solved the mystery. I... Hmm. I don't think construction train can actually get there. It might be able to. Depending on the flow of the other trains here. No, don't do that again. I think I'm just going to send all of these back to depot for the moment. There's so many of them. Oh no. Pretty sure I have to send this guy home as well. Well, I'm glad you said Vit go burr, because we found out why it wasn't going burr. It do be going burr now. Uh, at least for a while. 253 nugget per second, and this can consume 50% more than that. We're looking at about 167... Bloom per second, which gives us about 40. Yeah, we calculated that earlier. 40 or so spice per second. Which is not bad. Well, it's certainly an improvement. Maybe even enough to eventually saturate things now. Okay, so is this actually working after this guy leaves? Actually, actually... Let me just put him up here. What? No, be gone. Be gone. I thought that train was probably waiting to pick up Vitalik Acid, but evidently not. And it looks like it works now. Onion, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And indeed, we seem to have fixed the traffic issues. These two poor trains are going to have to wait till two more trains come and pick this up and leave. It's fine. Hit extract, go burr. Oh, just a little bit of a spike in the last two minutes. Yeah, just just a tad. All right, what's next? So we've got we've got that new system working, right? There's nothing else to add. Oh, right, I forgot. I need to. As soon as this guy launches... Hmm... I could go put a constant combinator here. Yeah, 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 let's do that. We're gonna... we're just gonna put a little constant combinator here to give a red signal. So that... Uh, ships can't land here except manually. And then we can get through the last few without them getting blocked by the ships that are actually working properly. Probably should have checked the ID on that one. I may have just forced one of the ships that uh, did have the correct landing ID to land. It's fine, whatever. 
Oh, no, I should... Mm, yes, 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 yes. I should add a notify. Until this is done. I can't make one. I don't have one in the construction. I'm just going to go grab some iron real quick. Real fast. Let's uh, also do a little more research. I don't know if I missed any of those dupa dupes any of those surfaces that we found. Um, that's steel. I probably need steel anyway. And I still can't handcraft this. Give me some copper. There we go. Don't fly into a spaceship. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say when this is green, when we're not detecting any core fragments in a spaceship, notify me. Uh, if green, greater than zero. Give me, give me something not quite so obnoxious. Where's the... Oh, I, I use that too much, actually. I think everything I want is under miscellaneous, though. That's going to be way too annoying. That works. Okay. Um, and show alert. Time to land this, uh, this program ship. And there's too many notifications for that to be visible, apparently. Lovely. Fine. Where's the next one? You are full of stone. You are Vitimlange and 17. Fantastic. We found Sinon, I guess. Um, planets, please. That is mineral water. Not interested. I am interested in getting some water, though. Especially while we wait for this to unload. Oh, it might actually be super saturated right now. Hmm. Okay, how empty is our ship? 3.3, 3.2k. This one looks like it's ready to launch. Oh, right. I, I still forgot to add up here. We're going to need one more 
How big is that? Five tiles? We're going to need one more um, duper dupe. One more signal transmitter to say you can send the ship that is parked at the recycle thingamajig. I think our construction train is still here. We don't happen to have a little bit of plating on us, do we? Let's just grab our scaffolding train for a quick drive-by. Oh, that's that sound. Here we go. Spaceships. Also, don't forget the dupa dupe. -dupe. We've got nu Nuranto to check out in a moment. ID 13. That's barrel. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for Vidamelange, trying to land at 17. This one's actually correct. 16 plus 1. On the... Uh, on the memory cell, we're looking for 17. There it is. And we need once more with feeling something like, no, I forgot. Wait, wait, wait. I can just go down here for some plating. All of the plating, please. It's kind of weird that we have to be in space to make this now. That was a very fast train, this one not so much. At least not right this second. And it's going to be set to recycle signal. doop a doop Alright, real quick. Neuranto, we're probably not interested in a moon, but we'll have a look anyway. Iron ore. Oh, I should check the delta V from Hagen as well. Hagen orbit. Because if it's closer than going via Foenestra, it it's always maybe worth looking at. Zelos is 4.2k copper, far from Hagen. Not interested. Let's look at sort by delta V. And I want things that are below, like, 43k-ish. And then we're looking for big radius. Ooh. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, Amadeo, I looked at it earlier and said it was almost perfect. It actually is perfect. It happens to be 30,000... Delta V from Hagen. Uh, no, wait, it's not 40k, it's 20k. No! I forgot. It's 10k to get to, um, Foenestra, and 10k to get from Foenestra to somewhere else. 40k in total for a two-way trip, not a one-way trip. Ravna. It, it, depending on what we find, it still might be worth considering eventually. Um, but let's look at, like, 24k-ish and below. Neuranto actually fits the bill. Obviously, with 1.6k radius, though, it's not the best of throughput. We're already using Stromhurst. Um, that's a, that's a spaceship. We don't need to get... We, we don't need to, to mine Iron Hall of 14 or whatever it was. Uh, Plato. Plato is actually our Holmium. Our late game Holmium. We don't need to go via Foenestra. It is less than 20k in total for a one-way trip. 
Nice. Do we have biters on it? I forgot to check. I mean, we're going there regardless. Um, oh, hundred percent biters. Oh, ouchie. Ouchie. Hermes was where I was going to go for uranium ore as well, because I don't think it has to be that fast. 100% threat indeed. I thought it was going to be zero. Like, I thought that was what I... Look, look, if you if you close one eye and cover the one, it's 0% threat. It's fine. Uh, I could use... Instead of building more infrastructure at Kalmea, I could probably... Once we're finished scorching Nalvis... Um, I could just point it at Plato. And what's our efficiency if we do that? Thirteen percent. Ouchie. Uh, if that's thirteen percent and now this is getting like sixty percent, I think there might be some upper limit to how much damage you can get from an energy beam. I think we should probably be splitting... splitting our current energy beam that's clearing now this. Or finally a plague rocket? That's so far away though. Look at this. You're telling me this is... 13.8%? Well... Oh, I don't suppose we have an island. That'd be nice. I think the efficiency thing is about the speed at which the beam travels? Well... The efficiency matters for beaming power, as in beaming heat to run a reactor. Oh, that reminds me. The beaming power that I first heard of from the Interstellar playlist. Scott Manley playing Kerbal Space Program with mods. Apparently that's actually a thing. I wanted to look into that. Not beaming heat to run a reactor, but actually beaming something that you can very easily utilize as electricity. Uh, anyway, we should probably point this thing back at Alvis. And we'll compare... Compare just how quickly it scorches. Why is it moving slower? Oh, it's following this guy that we can barely see. <laughs> it's taking a relaxing beam shower. Okay. So this is how fast the beam moves. It's about the same. Yeah. I'm pretty sure... Okay, can I manually target this somewhere? Just glaive. I want it in the middle of a nest somewhere. Yeah, this doesn't seem several times more damaging than what we just witnessed. There has to be, I think for the glaive, there must be a cap. So we should probably split it into three or four to clear Nalvis. I think the efficiency thing is about this... Uh, yes, yes. Xenox, welcome in. Alright, before I forget... Um, change all these signals so that we can launch the ship. Oh. Wait, what? How... We, we are reporting this ship is ready. Why isn't it... It is up here. 
Did it disappear for a moment? What happened? That was weird. And it's already got... Oh, that's probably from before. Alright. Uh, this needs to be set to... Recycle Dispatch. And then basically it detects... Uh, it's gone again. Why is it not transmitting right now? It is transmitting right now. What? What am I missing? I saw a bot moving, actually. Why was the bot moving? That'd be why it stopped transmitting a ready signal, but... Under what circumstance would a... Oh, it's probably supplying the occasional charged power pack. That's why. As soon as this is finished, we're going to stop sending a ready signal when a bot comes to pick it up. Uh, or at least we would if this inserter didn't just stop working. Um, yeah, we need uh, 40 of these actually, not 20. And ship is no longer reporting ready. Okay, good. Sense was made that day. And this needs to go here. And ship needs to go grab something. Assuming we have a mission to give out. Which we do not. Looks like the recycle ship is going to have highest priority to launch. So... Shouldn't have to wait long to find out. Also... I, I finally noticed, maybe I made, maybe I chose a sound effect that's a little too unobtrusive um, for this notification, because I only just noticed that ch -ch -ch in the background. We're looking for vit, and ID on the memory cell is 17, if there's any left, which there are. And then we just manually land them here. And are there any more like that? I think we've got these two that are fine. That one's 17. So, hauler number 10. And hauler number 1. One and, one and two in binary. No, wait. Yeah, no, that, that's right, isn't it? What well, Iron Hauler 1 and 10 are the last two that we need to fix this way. Alright, what else have we found? Besides noticing a planet that we'd already discovered is actually awesome. Were there any more that fit that category? Less than 24k-ish... Uh, distance, and a huge radius, Plato, priority, priority, yes, uh, 50, perfect, um, four soul, we already went there, Hermes, we're probably going to go to, Assuming that we have any trouble with uranium without just running off what comes from other core fragments. I do hear the sound. Nalvis, obviously. So these these are all going to be like in system. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ship number one and or ten. You may land. Uh, once this one launches, that is. That might actually take a moment. This one's launched. So that works. Well, we're pretty sure it works. I didn't actually see it launch, and I don't know if it launched with no destination or something. Uh, but it's pr probably fine. 
If I'm desperate as well, the nice thing about having this is if I really don't want to wait, I could just force the ship to land here. That would actually give us an opportunity to test our pickup as well. Yeah, why not? Alright, um, simply blank the memory cell and land down here. We'll do the same thing with, uh, ship 10, was it? Yeah. Yeah, we found a fire and forget way to fix things like this if they come up again. Very cool. And that means we can get rid of this thing. Be gone. And I never actually did use that constant combinator. Whoopsie daisy. Where is the constant combinator? What? Oh god damn it. Instruction bots. There we go. Okay. Nice soon. And we're about to see. I think we're about to see. Uh how much have we got here? Perfect. 1.8k. We're about to get enough Vidamelange to trigger a delivery here. The only question is... Will the LTN train ever manage to squeeze in some Vit core fragments, despite the vanilla trains? Also, what is it doing? Oh, it's moving. It is moving. Did you not wire it into the cluster? What do you mean? Cluster. Wire it into the cluster. So these are going to be loading just a little bit slowly because stack size one, because I don't want them ever getting jammed and this is not going to happen very often. We could, of course, make a more aggressive one with some combinators and stuff. Uh, but I don't really see the need. It does take a while to test it, though. Not gonna lie. How about... How about we just have stack size 12 as a treat for just a, just a little while? And then... Once this approaches 1k, I'll drop it back down. And they don't even need to be in sync for that to avoid problems. 800... 900... Good timing. And once the train leaves, we dump it back into the storage to make sure this is never going to be a problem filling up. Cool, cool, cool. And then we've got an LTN train trying to deliver here. Uh, and apparently having no difficulty whatsoever. Hmm. I thought it would probably end up having to wait because of a train limit or something, but apparently not. Okay. Very nice. It all works. And we can see we've got these two ships ready to launch. Iridium and... I was going to say, yeah, it's always Iridium and Vidamelange. I guess those are our highest throughput. Because we're not letting a ship land if we're backed up. No, this is empty. That's weird. 
in 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 Fidar. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's go back to the mall. I think. For lack of anything else to do. I mean, there's always a million things to do, but my mind is a little blank at the moment. So let's check all of our in Hagen orbit ships are working correctly. You're trying to drop off at ID6, I'm pretty sure that's correct. You're trying to drop off at 17, that is correct. You are also 17. You are... Uh, you're, you're dropping off right now. That's fine. This one is the one I prepared earlier. It's waiting to drop off at ID 1, which apparently doesn't have room. Oh. Fair enough. Uh, and hauler 1. Oh. Yeah. No, they're all good. They are all good now. Very nice. So VIT extract now filling complex research. Uh, it's probably slow still, but less slow. Let's see how our flow of SIG biomass has been. Uh... Ouchie. One stack per minute over the last 10 hours, and that's just two big spikes hours apart. Uh, I think a better indicator would be the flow of reagent. Which... Kind of too soon to say, I think. How about extract? That's the bottleneck for reagent. And spice is pretty much extract. We can check both of those. Extract and... How do I spell freaking vitamelange? Vita melange. Extract and spice. Ooh, look at that pattern. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we've we've been making a bit more of that in the last twenty-four minutes. Obviously, there was a a bit of a breakdown in throughput there while we were fixing something. Um, but it looks like the new baseline is as one would expect, significantly above what we had before. Our flow of indeed. NWP, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, um, let's check on our new outpost real quick. Well, first of all, has it been cleared of biters? It might have. I expect there's like a, a few little bases left. Maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, we're still we're still scorching. We might have already gotten all of the uh, spawners though. Oh, and I have planets to check out. I got distracted in a, in a couple of ways. Uh, we looked at Neuranto, right? And Zealous, maybe? Zealous was copper. Too far away and too close to the sun to use bow and Astra. Well, I mean, we can, but it would be a longer trip. I want the shortest of trips. Cerberus? is pretty small, pretty far away, and not that close to the sun, but yeah, I'm not interested in Cerberus. Capritos is tiny, 
Uh, we don't want tiny planets in the late game. We want tiny planets or moons in the early game. Asis, Asisrind? 4k radius, rare metals, probably never ever going to care about that. Uh, Poscomino. Poscomino. Vitamelange, probably never need another one again. We'll see. And that's it for research for now. Unless I was in the editor and we missed a notification, but I don't think I was in the editor anytime recently. Alright. But just to double check. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, there's that ship we need to rescue still. Oh, it is still moving agonizingly slowly. 0.37 speed. So it'll gain. It'll gain electricity when it gets into. into Kalmea. What's its ETA? <laughs> 23 hours! I mean, that would be at this speed to get all the way to uh, Corsal or Stromhurst. So it's probably like only a few hours before it gets a little bit of solar power and can move under its own power again. Why is this one dead? It's got 330 kilowatts. Can't you prioritize the inserters? Oh no. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to check on this guy who apparently flew all the way from Vizanis, Um and is probably, yep, heading for Gibil. That was probably one of the ones I corrected that, like, that aimed for Gibil from Foenestra. How much fuel does it have left? 3.1k per tank. I think it's gonna sort itself out? We don't have any ships that are like stuck at Foenestra somehow, do we? That, that's Foenestra. I'm gonna have to check all of these. Holy crap. Uh, if it says destination closest Foenestra, if both of those, then it's probably worth looking at. So I just need to click each of these, right? Yeah, I th think that problem was self-correcting, albeit not in the best possible manner. Let's go rescue those two ships. Do we have any um, spaceship wall just in case? We do. Alright, so first one, doop -a doop First one is Hauler 19. Iron Hauler 19. And I'm going to set Iron Hauler 19's target to construction ship right now. Uh, it's hardly going to cost us anything if it spends the next five minutes flying backward at this speed. Actually, whoops. I kind of want to leave it here so I know what its destination is supposed to be. I can see it on the on the memory cell actually. Construction ship. And then we've got this guy who is also stuck. Two of them. No, just this guy. Headed back for Hagen Orbit actually. Oh, did it lose... Why can't it engage? Ship integrity valid. Construction ship. Engage. There we go. It stopped again. Whatever, as long as we can board. It's fine. Now, we've also found Genova. Uh, which is a planet. Ooh, coal, 7k radius. Uh, it's not that close. And it is close enough to the sun 
that the Foenestra trip would be relatively long. So if I'm going to keep being picky, we might not take that one. Um, let's see. Well, we can not include moons if we're looking for big, big ones only. We haven't... that's the biggest... hmm. We've got like 8k radius, 51% solar in the Regulus system. Regulus, whatever. Where be Regulus? Way down here. Ooh, that kind of looks cool. Um... Yeah, if we, if we do another million searches for coal core fragments, and this is the best we find, it's not the end of the world. It's it's not that much further from the interstellar map. It's like another probably couple of thousand delta V each way. Could be a lot worse. What is Wilder? Immersite Cave. Well, if we ever need more Immersite Cave, we know where we're going. Uh, Hexen, Beyond Heretic. It's a moon, so probably not. Yeah, no. Alright, should we do some targeted zone discovery for coal? I kind of want to... I kind of want to get coal checked off the list, because it's two resources that will be drenched in until the end of time. Uh, and we've definitely found our candidate for endgame Holmanite. Need an interstellar baby ship for rescues and late build deliveries? Uh, I'm pretty much just using the construction ship for that. I could make a personal ship uh, that's... the main point of it is it's a bit faster and has liquid rocket fuel so that it can land on planets, I guess. We're still pretty far from antimatter. Um, let's see. Antimatter engine is deep space one, but also everything but bio needs to be tier four, and we need to have matter science packs. We already designed tier one matter science packs. We just haven't yet got the. Oh, I haven't even started on the tier six modules that we need to build the fabricators. Oh, what's this? Uh, a train with no path, apparently. Where, where is it trying to go? Oh, right, over... yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the problem? Is there, like, a piece of rail missing? Oh, these are ghosts! Well, there's your problem. And these guys seem to be stuck for the same reason. Which is a shame, because I know we always, always need bioelectric data. So this guy has no path to depot because because this signal doesn't exist. All right, what else did we just find? To Toxinora. Let's board this thing. Um. There we go. Board construction ship. And which ship was that? Hall 19. Uh, and it was headed for Stromhurst, wasn't it? Planet Orbit 683. 
if I recall. Yes. And this one was heading home. Iron Hall is 16. Uh, yeah. Okay. Iron Hauler 16. Really looking forward to that antimatter ship design because if it has fuel, it has power. And it consumes the antimatter for power at a incredibly slow pace. That's also true for the fuel. Uh, we didn't look at Toxinori yet, I don't think so. These are both moons, so we're probably not going to get excited. Uh, oil core fragments are crap. We did the math. Coal is better for oil. Uh, unless, of course, we get lots of oil core fragments for the equivalent drills, but I, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably not the case. Perseus. Um, is copper and very small and far away. Okay. Board Ion Hauler 16. Give it the same little piece of fuel. I'm really curious as to how this could have happened super rarely. That seems pretty strange to me. Uh, and then we need to board construction ship again. Why does this thing keep engaging and then stopping? Oh, never mind. I was literally just about to like click it and then scroll up and see what the text said real fast. But apparently it's fine now. And then back to Hagen orbit with you. Once you've got some heat, which you do, which means accumulators are charging. Fantastic. All right, I think that's all the ships that we that needed help. I yeah, I really don't think we need to set up uh, energy beaming infrastructure from Kalmea since the beam we've already got can clear Plato pretty easily. Well. I mean, it's a big planet, it's going to take a while, but still. Um, but that said, it might be worth splitting the beam that we do have at Calidus. Um, I think it was 13%, at most 30%. It, significantly less transmission efficiency. We had, like, the same strength beam. Um... That was actually super fast. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, whatever the case. Nalvis be very, very slowly getting cleared. Got another moon. Alfrin? Uh, well, it's very close to... No, that's, that's by the threat. I was going to say it's close to the interstellar map, but yeah, we're obviously not going to another teeny tiny barrel moon. Um, let, speaking of mo uh, barrel? No, that's a lie. Uh, speaking of Bombato, which is actually a non sequitur, um, can we declare it extinct? We cannot. Maybe after this Leviathan Snapper. Need an interstellar baby ship for rescue. Oh, I read that, sorry. We could go hunting some modules. Hmm. I would need a lot... If I just get six, I can maximize our 
our science consumption productivity. But we've had incredibly bad luck for finding um whatchamacallit finding prod modules as opposed to speed or efficiency. I think I'll just wait until we have antimatter ships to go picking up those modules. A lot of our outposts have just happened to not have any pyramids as well. Okay. Research... has it stopped? Nope, it's just slow. Bellerophon. Really big vitamelange. Uh, pretty far away and not very close to the interstellar map. So that's a no. I'm pretty sure Bombato, we can just keep adding core drills for all of the Vitamelange we'll ever need, probably. What's that? Oh, what's this? Extract is not exactly on the way. Maybe I should redo this. I'm thinking it would probably be much preferable to have dedicated train stops to give... Or I could use these. No, 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 they're already double use. Uh, it might be a lot better to have dedicated train stops to give items to not LTM. I could basically treat these two stops as um, pickup stations for vanilla schedules, for the solids, and still have LTN pick up the fluids, and then we wouldn't even need any more infrastructure, just... Well, just some bulk rail... Uh, that doesn't line up very well as it is, does it? Uh, I could just get rid of two of the pumps. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we wouldn't end up with... Vanilla Train taking all the extract and then... Like, one or two... LTN trains scheduled to wait a really, really long time for extract. Hmm. And maybe just put a splitter here so we could like 50 50 it. Maelstrom. Lots of iron. Uh, far away and too close to the sun. Not really interested. Can we start doing the targeted? Yes, we can. Where are we, by the way? 22 seconds away from Hagen Orbit. Fantastic. Automate T6 modules for the thing you need? That's a good point. Yeah, I keep putting that off. Uh, I'll wait till we land so that I don't have to worry about getting sent to the Shadow Realm. Especially since I haven't saved in a really really, really long time, actually. Uh, not since before the stream, as a matter of fact. So I think I'll do that shortly. I'll get some words on stream lined up to take a little break. And, and I will save while we take a little break, because it is that lengthy. Um, but maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll do a bit of design work first. Um, so, editor, let me just switch that off. That was actually a good, good build. 
I hate that I had to build this, but it was a fun, fun project, figuring out that train stop. Okay. So should we do... Let's consider this. I think I'm going to come to the conclusion that I should still do tier 3 modules on the ground. And we'll just keep, uh, keep this build. Because if I were to do the lower tier stuff in orbit... We've already got most of these things set up to be taken up the space elevator. I would have to add solid fuel, I think. Um, these are all up there already. And copper cable we can obviously make on the spot. Which we have been doing without prod bonuses for all of our modules. Time immemorial. Um, but yeah, we would be paying... The, the modules are going to be far more stack debts. We're going to be paying extra space elevator cable uh, if we don't send the modules upstairs as modules. Doop -a -doop. Falcon Saber is a moon. It's coal, it's far away, and it's not that close to the interstellar map. So I don't think we'll be going there. Um, now, do I want to do prod 4s on the ground or in space? At what point do I have to do something in space? Module tier 4. Iridium plate machine learning data. Okay, so we're either taking up 3s or bringing down machine learning data. 120 Iridium Plate is actually three stacks. Whereas Machine Learning Data is a 50th of a stack. So maybe we'll bring those downstairs? What else do they go into? Other than... As far as we're concerned, on the ground, just all, f all of the Tier 4 modules. Holmium plate um, is almost one stack per module. Productivity module is more than half of a stack per module. Yeah, it is way more spell elevator cable efficient and train traffic efficient uh, to do the fours on the ground. I could use this build, or I could design something from scratch. Um, and I could not worry at all about ratios, because we're always resource bottlenecked for modules. And do kind of a minimalistic build. Or I could do what I did last time and have um, space manufactories. Very, very fast ones, doing all of the work in one place with crafting combinators swapping the recipes. That's probably more UPS unfriendly, though. Ma Ma Magera? Mag Magera. 7.8k radius, pretty close to the sun, pretty far from us. Close, but not quite. What's the current space elevator cable upkeep you're looking at? Um, we can look at space elevator cable consumption. That is surprisingly wavy. What the hell? Oh, it's this one. Okay. That's actually, that's actually copper cable. <laughs> okay. Uh, over the last hour, we're looking at 43.7 per minute, 43.8 per minute, 43.9 per minute, 0.8 per minute. Yeah, so it's about that. 10 hours, it's gone up like 4 per minute in the last hour or something, 
or few hours. Hello there, Ospe. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I was trying to figure out at what point should I bring the modules upstairs, and to my surprise, we absolutely should do modules, uh, tier 4 modules at least, on the ground. For tier 5s, we need... This is going to be the same story all over again, isn't it? Two stacks of heavy girder, and a 50th of a stack of material catalogue. And, of course, a couple of speed fours. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same the same story for all of the tier fives. A whole stack of bioscrubber and one fiftieth of a stack of catalog. Um, prod module five? That's the one we just looked at. Efficiency five? Uh, pretty much the same thing. Okay. What about tier 6? I have a feeling we're probably going to be seeing more of the same pattern. Almost three stacks of heavy bearing and a couple of broad material catalogs that stack to 50. Um... Almost three stacks of vitalic reagent, a couple of catalogs... And that's tier 9. And pretty much the same thing for energy. Alright. Let's look at them in order. 7 is... 7 is probably where we start doing everything in space, because quantum processes start in space. And a train load... Oh my god, a train load of... Module 6s, that is... That's a lot of value in one cargo wagon. I think we'll have short trains carry these. Um, but this will happen in space, and presumably the rest will happen in space. Uh, efficiency 8 is... Pretty sure dynamic emitters start in space. Everything in space. 9 is... Everything in space. Um, I'm going to be very surprised if the other modules don't follow the same pattern. So basically, we should go up to tier 6 on the ground. Um, tier 7? Heavy composite. Oh. Don't we make heavy composite... No, we make aeroframe bulkhead on the ground. Heavy composite. Yeah, we also make on the ground. I think it's over here. Uh, I, I thought it was over there somewhere. Have we not made heavy composite yet? We have not made heavy composite yet, but turns out you can put that on the ground for prod modules. Okay. So, speed module 7 we should make on the ground? Uh, heavy assembly, more than three stacks. And we can make heavy assembly on the ground. Huh. And then... Tier 9? Tier 9 is all in space. Well, Cryonite Slush is... made on the ground, but I'm pretty sure nanomaterial has to be made in space, yep. Okay, that's different. So speed... speed... We stay on the ground until tier 8. Uh, and I believe... Efficiency. We already looked at... Uh, we want to go into space at tier 7. Uh, 
definitely. Um, and rod modules? Now I don't know what to expect. Uh, tier 6 definitely on the ground. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's tier 7 on the ground. Vitalik epoxy can be made with prod modules on the ground. Tier 8. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all... All space stuff. Huh. So what was it? 7, 8, and 9? Prod module was 8. Uh, speed module was 9. And efficiency module... was 7. Hmm. They, they are all different for when you should go into space. A train of tier 6 is crashing, imagine. Oh, the calamity. Are you sure processors are space only? Uh, yeah, pretty sure. Quantum processors. Made in electromag facility. Wait. Yeah, yeah, efficiency 7. There we are. Alright, let's have a look at these uh, zones, shall we? We've got Silverhorn, which is probably our only hope. I, I, I don't know how a moon could surprise me. It'd have to be really close, I guess. 5.4k radius. Uh, too far away to go straight there. And too far from the interstellar map. For a good, really short journey with a teleport. Unfortunate. Harris, Deimos, Demios, and Balanar. Actually, let's just do this. Tower, that's really small. Balanar's also really small. Also close to the sun. What was the other one? Balinar. No, we already looked at that. De Demios. It is also tiny. Okay. More zone discovery, please. Richen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, was it at least all the tier 6s should be made on the ground? Yes. Yes. And yes. Okay then. I think I'll start a build from scratch for modules on the ground. And... I'd like to just do one... Well, we'll need to do some estimates on how long it would take. Um, but I'd like to just do one block. Or all three of them, if I can. Now's a good time to take that break, though, I think. Um, let's save our game before we lose literally five hours of progress. Or at least an hour or two of progress and a lot of mucking about and chatting. Okay, save game. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. One block seems harsh for the amount of inputs you need. We can use bots. If the overall throughput's going to be very slow, we could use uh, a multi-drop-off for lots of different things. All right, off we go.
Okay, how are we doing? Absolutely annihilating level three. Nice. All right. Um. So I need to. Well, I don't need to, but I kind of want to redesign uh, modules from the ground up. Not that this build is bad, but maybe we can do better. Let's just lay out uh, what we actually need first, and we'll pause the words on the stream. Okay, let's grab some advanced assembly machines. Uh, modules. 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 <laughs> There's so many. So what do we actually need here? I want to put it on some constant combinators or something so we can visualize it easily. Let me do it horizontally because that's the screen aspect ratio we all have. How did you switch so fast from your game file to the map editor? The mod is called editor extensions. You want to go settings, mod settings, per player, and change testing lab to something other than off. And then you have a surface that's parallel to your main game. Editor Extensions is the name of the mod. Bunter Party Bus. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, the um electronic circuit, electronic components. Component. What comp. There we go. And then solid fuel for some reason. Feels like it could. Is your test lab affecting your UPS? Oh, absolutely. Um, not by a whole lot. We don't have that much stuff here. But um, certainly every time... If, if I delete a rail block from here, uh, it's going to get slightly better. And I do mean slightly at this point in particular. Uh, it's going to get slightly better whenever we're placing signals. Um, it's going to take a little bit less time for the game to repath every single train as it does. This also needs green sig- uh, I almost said signals. Circuits. Advanced circuit. Um, small electric engine. It's been such a long time. Sashibori. Since I gave small electric engines a single thought. This one wants imosite crystal as well as red and blue. Remember when imosite crystal was precious? This one wants iridium plate. Uh, and machine learning data. The, the tiny throughput that we need for machine learning data, with the massive stack size by comparison, uh, and the common ingredient across three different types of modules, um, this is one of the reasons I want one big build to do all of our modules up to tier 6 if we can. Gerda and material catalog. Tier one, and then a uh, heavy bearing and broad catalog. This is going to make it a bit easier to see the patterns as well. Broad catalog. Okay, and of course, uh, we would. 
have something like this. And the ratio would be massively incorrect. But it's probably fine. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not at all. We're 50% too slow on this. Is it going to be 50% too slow all the way down? No, no it's not. Why do we keep... Oh, because this is pinned. Because I accidentally clicked that at some point. There we go. So this is half speed. This is... I don't know, a quarter speed? Like 75% rather? This is half speed. Why is this one different? 0.33 out of 0.5. It's a little bit faster. Hmm. Well, if, if the first one's going to be bottlenecked on half speed from this, then it's effectively going to cascade all the way down, right? And this one's different again? Hmm. Well, whatever the case, uh, I tried building this with, like, correct ratios last time, and then I said no, absolutely not, and went and made... Oh, you can't prod these, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, went and made... What? Yep. Rude. Uh, went and just made, like, one machine to build all of them. But I think I'll do one machine per per tier this time. That should be more than enough. Oh, we could probably go like advanced assembly machine for the first one, and then the rest can be super slow. In fact, Remove the uh, modules from these. And we'll get a really visceral idea of just how much slower it'll be. I think we've got no electricity as well. Um, that's actually way quicker than I thought it would be. Holy crap. Like, that's like... That's like an order of magnitude or two quicker than I thought it would be. This is totally fine. This is very easy to bottleneck on resource input. Speedy, indeed? Yeah, okay. Um, now, for efficiencies... I can't remember which was which, but one of them, we're going to go to tier 7? I, I think it was speeds, actually. Tier 7. Oops, why did I do that? We're looking for heavy composite and comprehensive. Heavy comp we will be making on the ground. Uh, and then catalog 3. It's going to make it very tricky to rate calculate these things. Speeds go to 8 on the ground. Eight, seven, six. Yeah, that sounds bright, actually. I'm pretty sure tier 9s are all in space, right? 
tier 8. Yeah, the lubricant reminds me. So we actually need every material catalogue delivered here. Uh, catalogue 4. Um, and heavy assembly. And I think that drip of uh, lubricant kind of speaks for itself, but just in case. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 resources that we would need to deliver here to speed uh, up to speed 8. Let's do prods next since that's the next one down this row. That's 4, right? Uh, and 5 was still on the ground. 6. I think 6 is all on the ground, right? Yeah. Seven. Is also going to be on the ground. Yes. And eight will not, I think. Uh, eight is definitely happening in space. Cool, so we're going to get a nice pattern of same order they appear here. We're going 8, 7, 6 is what we're going to build on the ground. I'll just confirm that. Yep. Uh, epoxy and comprehensive. Comprehensive catalog. And this one, no doubt, will have tier 2 catalog. And reagent. Scrubber and tier 1 catalog. This is shared resource. This is extract. Uh, and then we've got red and blue plus a vulcanite block. Red and green plus sulfur. And glass instead of solid fuel. And then down here, let me just check one more time. That's in space. Okay. So tier two, is it going to be energy catalog? Yes. And polmium solenoid. Which I'll just confirm. Can be made on the ground with prods. Fantastic. Uh, so cat one. Wait, what? Oh, that's speed modules, isn't it? Let me just start from here. Efficiency one. Efficiency two. Efficiency three. Efficiency four. Efficiency five. Handcraft it? Oh no. Can't you just copy a recipe from the building to the chest? Uh, you can. Wait, why are we asking right now? Hold me in cable. Hold me in plate. Fryonite rod. 
Uh, battery. And puppet table. We'll probably have just one more machine here for the copper cable. Alright, so how, mon how many is that in total? Uh, let's count not the common resources first. There's only one fluid that needs to be delivered here. We'll just figure out where we're going to put that later. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Uh, let me just use notepad for this. Maybe I should get a mod for notes in the game. 30 non-shared resources. And then we've got... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Is that it? 7 shared resources. Solids, anyway. Seven shared solids. So this is not an actual factory, just doing calculations? Well, I'm figuring out how I want to design it. So we've got 37 inputs in total. Let's look at... I'll just use rate calc like this, and it'll give us an overestimate, and I think that'll probably be fine. Probably. I don't think we need to worry about speed modules in these ones. Um, so our rate of consumption... 78... Per second is the worst of the non-shared resources. 52 green circuits per second, that's like a quarter of a stack. Same with advanced circuits, almost a stack of sulfur per second. Not that we're overly worried about how fast we make our modules. But I'm just thinking about Trains dropping stuff off. We've got an awful lot of stuff that we're consuming half a stack per second of. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. On the other hand, if we don't really care how long it takes... Let me just see how long this takes with no speed modules, actually. Uh, it's going to be a slight pain to set it up again. Whoops. Should probably start by aiming at the tiny thing and then flick to the bigger thing. There we go. Uh, and we'll put in these things again. And see how quickly we get some. Speed module eights. Pretty quickly, honestly. Hmm. 
Should I do you? Uh, what if? How fast do we go through the common resources? That's what I'd like to know. I know this is not the actual rate. We can dramatically drop our estimate a bit. For some of the, uh, at least, yeah, for, for most things. Let's see. Can we sort by rate? No. Oh, we are sorted by rate. Perfect. Um, 30 iridium plate per second, and it's, in reality it's a lot slower than that. It's probably fine. At least for now. Okay. That's only 20 EC per second, even if all of these were somehow active all at once. Yeah, I think this is actually okay. We can give it a whirl anyway. I don't think the high tier consumption is accurate. Yeah, no, it's not. That's why I said we can. We're underestimate. We're, we're, the rate calc is going to overestimate most of these things by quite a bit. Um. So in that case, how many items did I say we were dropping off? Thirty-seven. Hmm. What if I did a separate drop-off for, like, the common items? No, let's just try this. Let's just give it a shot and see what happens. That's... that's space loader. There we go. And I think I'll try and organize it... I was going to say I'd try to organize it so that lubricant is close to this drop-off, but that doesn't really work out. Let me just keep the constant combinators so we've got an easy visualization of what we need. Why doesn't that line up anymore? Uh, that's maybe why. Could we maybe use belts for some of the really common stuff? Or should we just bot everything? I could use buffer chests? Nah. Well, yes, actually. So we can tell how much we've got. Actually, no. I think we should not count stuff that's at its final destination as if it's available. So we'll have uh, some kind of a roboport right about here, I guess. Is that going to cover everything? It is. If we do this on this side. Make a giant sushi belt. Don't tempt me. I could actually do the lubricant drop-off down at one of the module pickups. Hmm. 
If we need tier 6s specifically to make fabricators... Oh crap, I missed a bunch of... Oh no. I missed the notifications for all of those targeted zone discoveries. Oh, I know. What uh, resource were we looking for? I think it was coal. Yeah, it was coal. Alright, let's search. And I'm probably not interested in moons, but we'll give it a go anyway. Planets and moons. Primary resource. Coal. See what we've got. We'll have to tread over some ground we've been over already, but it's fine. I'm primarily just interested in the biggest radius ones by far. Miturion? Mi mi uh, is not bad, but not great. Big radius, not that far from the sun, really, really far away to fly directly. Why are some planets red and some green? The red ones are moons. That's all. As you can see. Um, well, if I only want the big ones at first, let's have a look. That just leaves Magaera. Magaera? We already looked at that. It's kind of too close to the sun. And... Genova is not that great either. Do we have any that are surprisingly close? Like less than 24k delta V from Hagen orbit. For coal. We do not. Okay. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... Do I have room to... I don't think so. If I were to put... Well, if I use a bit of space on the side... Let's make, like, a buffer chest here, after all. And instead of directly inserting... We'll... Do something like this. So that we'll have some various tiers available if we want them. Come to think of it, don't we need tier 1s in various things? If we're going to replace this, we need to make them accessible. Tier 1 module goes into optimization research data. Um... Yeah... I might have to make this across multiple blocks after all. Because I don't... I'm pretty sure that's why we have double cargo wagons for these ones. We have occasion to bring... Tier 1 speed, tier 1 efficiency, and tier 1 prod into space. I don't remember where they go. Making those cards I was just talking about. Making productivity. Uh, I think efficiency is going to be for the utility ones. Yep, here they are. Currently being consumed. Okay. Uh, so is it just tier 1s and then tier 6s? That we need to export? Regardless of which modules we actually want? 
We need threes to make power armor, but I don't need to, like, fully automate that. I can I'm, I think I'm already making advanced exoskeletons in the mall. But that's possible because we import the speed threes. Prod three doesn't do anything. Efficiency three is for power armor as well. Um, am I going to have to step through all of these? There's so many. No, I think I think I can somewhat trust the logic from before that we're exporting ones and threes. Uh, wait, I already said there's actually no need to export module 3s when we've outgrown them. For productivity modules, that is. Well, that doesn't make a very neat pattern, does it? Where, where am I trying to look at? Here we go. So if I'm going to export 3 1s, 2 2s, and 3 6s... If they're going to have dedicated pickup stations, that's going to be way too many. Alternatively, I can make one of those offer what you've got to the logistic network um, type of stations. Hmm... I don't know, I still feel like it'd be kind of neat if we could do it, all of this in one place. But we would need, at the very least, if we want to do it this way, uh, a 4x4 four four chest. so that we have at least 100 stacks if we're going to do just one container. Maybe I should keep the modules 1 to 3 builds that I've already got. Except they've got common resources that... Actually, no. The only common resource from 4 onwards is machine learning data. So maybe I should keep, uh, keep the tier 1 to 3 builds where they are. And I could always, you know, update them later if I really want to. Uh, and then we're just doing this in one block. And that only requires, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, uh, 14, 15, 16, that doesn't look right. Yeah, th this was backwards. Whoops. Something like that. Uh, 1... 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22 solids. And we'd need to export three, uh, three types of tier 6, two types of tier 7, and one type of tier 8. So in other words, six different resources need to be output. I think we'll probably go for short trains to pick those up. Maybe I'll actually do six different train stops for that. I don't think we're going to need that much space for the actual manufacturing. Um, so suddenly this build is starting to sound a lot neater. I might steal... 
what I did before with a input something like this. So what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. How much space does that actually take up? Not that much, uh, asterisk. It depends on... Don't, don't we have six of these over here? Yeah, we do. I think I should do this again, basically. Maybe we'll put it in the middle this time. But depending on how much space we actually need... Nah, I'm not going to build it here. Alright, let's move these guys out of the way. And... All of our... Train stops... are going to have just one cargo wagon. Probably fit here. Even if that locomotive is going to be a little wonky. It's probably fine. And... How can I prioritize... Or balance. There's no middle with this one. It's kind of a bit long for this part. How about somewhere like here? And then that looks kind of like it belongs. Might give him a little bit more space. I do kind of want this for the output. Could probably move it down a bit. Yeah, that should be okay. And then... Something like... This. Steel underground pipe. Straight to the only lubricant consumer. We're one off if I don't move this up. Give me some steel pipe just for the look of it over here as well. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll probably move this up again. And then... So the tier 5s all want machine learning data. How about I just put it on the left? Request from buffer chests, why not? Maybe I should put things in buffer chests directly. Or passive providers, anyway. And then buffer chest down here? No, if something's available to the train network, we shouldn't take it back. Right? 
We'll probably just have these two take turns. Sort of like that. And for everything that we do want to export... Well, everything that we don't want to explore, we'll get rid of the passive providers, actually. And if I end up finding out there's some, like, golden ratio that involves any of these intermediate steps, I'll just add a buffer chest for it later on. And we could also add some more... What have we got here? Twelve... One, two, three, four, five, six. I could actually make... Uh, this one on the right would be a bit awkward. No, yeah, we could make it fit. Um, pretty neatly, actually. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, if we really wanted to, we could export all of these to the rail network with no real fuss. Okay. Straight rail... be gone. Fantastic. Can't you make a similar thing as the core fragment recycler? Where it dumps them all together and requests if there is enough for a train load. Um, I can, but then we're waiting on the bots to dump them all in. And then sometimes you get problems with those loading systems. Um, the recycler doesn't care if it ends up with a mix of core fragments, which makes it a lot easier. Okay, so we need enough storage space to support um, at least a train load, preferably plus a bit of each resource that's dropped off here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three solids. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-two, twenty-three. Wait, that's probably... These two are almost one train load. So these four are significantly in excess. Uh, 48 times 2 times 4, 192 stacks. Why couldn't the chests have 50? Um, I could just do three chests for each. In theory. What did I say? 23. 92 divided by 4. Yeah, 23. 23 times 3 is 69. Nice. Well, we're obviously going with that. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 22... Uh, and there's no way to be symmetrical now. No! Wait, yes there is, there's 33 of these. 15 and 15. Something like that, maybe. 
Where are we going to put them, though? So that it doesn't look like a total disaster. Maybe up here for the most part? I need to be cut and pasting. Kind of want it to be like this because it's cool. All right, let's put how many common resources do we have? Literally one. Let's put that in the middle, and then one, two, three. Uh, I don't know where I want to put those actually. Machine learning data. Stop with the flashing, it's distracting. Oh yeah, that reminds me. How long until we get, um... Charges? Oh, we already got them. Just haven't built any yet. Can we build some here? Mm, maybe? Supercharger. Oh, spoiler, we already have. I completely forgot we unlocked them and we have 96 just lying around. It's much easier to forget something like that when you have the auto crafter. So those are an option. Um, I think they reach further with the logistic network as well. Yeah, they do. I don't think we need one here, though. Just want this to cover... Hmm. On second thought. Just because of the reach of this thing, maybe we'll put it about here? And we'll need a roboport just so the bots have somewhere to, to sleep. I'll probably head for the RoboPort first if I put it there. How about this? Okay, so that's 69, right? That's 60. What? No, that's 69. There we go. Alright, so machine learning data goes here. Um, and then I would like some kind of symmetry, but I don't really see it happening. Iridium plate. Go here, I guess. Girders and material catalog. I think I want to put the catalogs like this. Catalog. This one goes to tier 4. Oh, oh, that's perfect. This one goes to 4, this one goes to 3, this one goes to 2. Let's put them here. Energy catalog 1. Energy catalog two. Goes like that. And then we've got bio. I think we're most often gonna bottleneck on these, right? Might be easiest at a glance to see what we're missing if we do it like this
now I kind of want to put the machine learning data up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machine learning data. And then here we'll have extract. Whoop, what, what, what? Extract. And then here we'll have Holmium Plate. Give me some Holmium Plate. I think there's another way to set the filters here. You literally click that there. Cool. So we can see the primary input for the first tier here, here, and here. Then we can see the shared input here and all the catalogs here. That looks pretty neat. Oops. Filters. Oops. And filters. Cool. Um, we could also put these here just for more capacity slash speed for unloading. Raygasm, I th thank you. Um, and then we need... These are all done. All the catalogs are done. We need one, two, three, four other solids from material. For, for speed. We need one, two, three others for... Uh, for productivity from bio, and we need one, two others for. I feel like I missed something somehow. Well, let's continue with this pattern for the moment. Um, so this will be heavy assembly. What? That's a heavy tank. Heavy assembly, please. Wait, what? Where did it go? Where, where did... Okay. Give me that heavy ass. And... Heavy composite. Heavy bearing. This is surprisingly enjoyable. Heavy girder. There are only 22 unique items, I think, not 23. I see, I see. In that case... Uh, in that case, everything is ruined. We'll see what we can do. Iridium plate. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Oh! And then one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Three. Wait, I'm so confused. We'll, we'll see how it... Oh no, the Iridium plate is over here. I almost forgot. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two... Yeah, this is like nothing. Don't be sad. It'll be okay. Oh, in fact, I see exactly what we can do about it. Perfectly symmetrical, as all things should be. Uh, so now we need... We've got the catalogs. We need Holmium Cable. And... Holmium 
some solenoid. Ink filters for these as well. Perfect. Uh, and that just leaves scrubbers, reagent, and epoxy. Yes. Bio scrubber, reagent, and epoxy. Where's the scrubber? Regent. And epoxy. Cool. I don't know about you, but I think that looks pretty neat. Alright, um, kind of need to, Louise the Programmer, thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Now we just need to shift right click, shift left click, if we don't mind having perhaps excessive, um, Requests placed automatically. And we should probably test this. I kind of want to... Infinity Active Provider Chest... Is that what I want? No, no it isn't. Um, I want a bunch of this stuff to be shoved into the robot network automatically. Testing. And I think instead of asking the robot network, we'll just trust our lying eyes um, and read what's in these chests. I just realized because I already set all these filters, I have to click all of these. It's fine. Otherwise, if I copy-paste, the filters will get overridden. Upper right factory missing module? Oh, true. Oh, I see what happened there. Sneaky. Mr. Navka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Too bad the machine learning cards are the odd one out, but good enough. Thank you. I guess I could put the machine learning cards here, but I don't think we have to worry about the throughput of them, and I think that looks nicer. Also, also, don't forget to tell LTN how much... Oh. Where are the pumps going to fit? Um... That's unfortunate. I could change the container here. How about this? But then... 
these would encroach on each other. I could do ye old storage tanks. Just like that. It's not too bad either. And this can still connect up here, I guess. And the trouble is this only fits uh 50k. I guess I could just put a couple of 50k ones side by side like this. And then the pump can't do anything. Good job. But if I put this up here, I, I guess... It's not, not my favorite. But... Not the worst, either. I could also... That would allow me to put the machine learning data in here. Okay, yeah. That's... I can live with that. Absolutely. Crisis averted? I think that's crisis averted. That actually looks kind of cool. And we've got 100k storage. We can ask for like 80 or 90k. We only need uh, 500 lubricant. That's more than I was expecting, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> 500 lubricant for one speed module 8. I thought it would be like the exception, like the one resource that we really don't need much of. Um, nope. So... Uh, a train delivering two fluid wagons, space fluid wagons no less, of lubricant allows us to make 120 tier 8 speed modules. Wow. Wowzers. Alright, um... So how do I set up some testing for this? Well, actually, I think the answer's fairly obvious. It's just a bit tedious. Um, one, two, three, uh, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, nineteen resources. And then... I think I'll just do set filters blacklist like this. Wait, what? That's not a that's not a filter inserter. So we'll keep putting stuff into these containers until they don't get taken away. And then we'll go Well, I guess if I'm doing it like that, I could do four at a time. Oh. You know what else I forgot? Tier 3 modules. <laughs> um... How about... Well, they only go to one place anyway. I could have done this in the first place. But I want the storage to be close to the train stop, and I want uh, to be able to see what we've got. Thank you, Johan Anderson. Not using K2's filter inserters? Uh, I am, actually. I love them. But uh, just for testing, this, this isn't going into the final build, this part. Um, but I was going to say... I can do... four at once with these. Catalog, catalog, 
catalog, catalog, and then uh, the greens go to tier three, catalog, 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 energy goes to two, and then we've got holmium cable, holmium solenoid, whoopsie daisies. Uh, scrubber, reagent, and epoxy. Scrubber? Oh, there's reagent and hypocrisy. I almost said hypocrisy. <laughs> yes, gotta get a good throughput of hypocrisy. Um, we got a, all, all, all the golden things. Got a bearing. Oh, they're all right in a row, like this. And then we need machine learning data. And I think that's it, except for the modules. Which I still haven't figured out exactly where they're going to fit. It's probably fine. Alright, there's our test inputs. Much easier than I thought it would be. Just like, uh, just like it's going to work over here, we're just putting it into purple chests. Let's do some non-cheaty robots. I mean, we've still got way more speed buffs than in our game, but we can at least get some idea. That is an unfiltered storage chest. And apparently so is this one. And apparently so is... Uh, what? What is going on here? What? Okay, filters... Look good here. This doesn't have a filter. Catalog 1. Catalog 2. Catalog 3. Whoops. And these appear to be correct. And these appear to be correct. And these appear to be correct. Cool. What are you laughing at? All right. Hmm. We do need to allow short trains to drop stuff off here, which means that sometimes we're going to get used up batteries stuck in this robot network, which means we need to have something to get rid of anything that doesn't belong here. But that's a nice to have for a robot network anyway. Put the T3 storage chests under the T4 ingredient chests. T3 storage chests. Under the T4 ingredient storage chests. Oh, that's what I was thinking of earlier. Yeah, that's one idea. Or I could simply... Well, no, never mind. Something like this, even. I think it would look nicer if we do it like this, maybe. Speed three. Then it would have to go up like this. I don't love that. Mm. 
maybe something like this. Uh, so this will be prod threes right here. And this will be... What are these supposed to be? Oh, I see. Wait, did I... Did I screw this up? Oh, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that was supposed to be something here. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. Um, and this will be efficiency threes. And I guess I should have grabbed super bots after all. starting to look more like what we're looking for. I could move all of these over like one tile just so that that's it centered. The pipe would be slightly off, but do we care? I, I think that looks better. I definitely think that looks better. Can, can we get some more super <laughs> lunchy bots? Because apparently we don't have enough. Oh, they have no homes. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, we caught up. Apparently. What's this? Get it, get it out of here. Why are they still moving around? Oh, because this thing keeps putting in 12 at a time? Maybe I shouldn't have done it this way. Whatever, it's fine. No, it's not. We're still waiting on these resources. Probably because I didn't add them yet. That, that might be the reason. Iridium plate, holmium plate, and uh, extract. Okay. Seems like it's working. Oh, it's going to be fun setting up the LTN requests for this stuff. Oh boy. We need to allow short trains uh, for the aforementioned tier 3 modules. I guess we could do... Request stack threshold down to 50. Hmm. That actually kind of makes me want to do... Almost want to do two separate stations. Do you need three chests for each tier three, or would one be enough? One or two would probably be enough, to be honest. Um, and I'm thinking we'll do output station in the same spot as usual. I'll, I'll just steal from myself for this real quick, because it's going to be the same thing. 
This is a... Uh, oof, owie. Uh, what? This is our only unfiltered storage chest. Oh, the chest is in the way. Oh, no. We could just put it here. Or I could even, like, put this here. Um, let's just pretend we didn't see that. Now, that doesn't work very well with our, with our test stuff. Let me just, like, take this over here. Okay, so anything that isn't explicitly supposed to be in this robot network will get stored here and therefore taken away by the train. All good. Uh, and of course we're going to say... I guess speed, speed, speed prod prod efficiency like this short train provide stack threshold 50 oh you're joking mm. We'll make a little exception this time. That looks pretty neat in this place anyway. Now then. Um, I guess I could just make it a filtered storage chest. That way, if I flew past here... Um, and I was, like, requesting prod sixes or something. If there's enough of them here, they'll just give them to me. But we definitely only want to tell LTN about what's in the big container if we do that. Uh, and I think I'll limit it to exactly one... Cargo wagon. Uh, I don't know if we'll even have LTN pick these up. I guess we'll... Yeah, we could have the mole request some. That should be fine. Vanilla scheduled trains can use LTN train stops anyway. Alright, so this will be speed 6. Speed 7. Speed 8. Prod 6. Prod 7. Wait, was that? Prod 7. And efficiency six. Cool. Don't feel bad it's their job, just like bees or ants. Kind of feel bad for the bots because it's a lot of stuff they gotta move. Uh, some of it more than others. Alright, so... Speed six. Oh. That needs to be a buffer chest, doesn't it? Otherwise it's just going to sit in... Uh, in the passive provider. Also, also, I don't actually... Holy crap, that's a lot of request. Uh, I don't actually want the requester chests requesting the modules that we're putting in these 
passive providers. Um, yeah, buffers should be fine, because LTN doesn't know about these. Okay. Speed 6. Speed 7. Speed 8. Speed 9. Wait, what? No. Um, rod 6. Rod 7. And we already got one. And efficiency 6. And then we'll go tidy these up a bit. Just request like one stack of each should be more than sufficient. Actually, that depends on the resource. 30 per second? That's not that bad. Okay. Um... And then heavy girders and tier one mod, uh, catalogs. Almost that. Is that tier 2 catalog? It must be. Um, reagent. And catalog 2. We're going to need to make so many trains to bring catalogs down. Epoxy and Cat 3. Uh, and that's the end of that one. Okay, so I think we've done everything except for some of the blues. Cat 2. The composite cat three and heavy assembly and catalog four could you use circuits so one train can bring all catalogs? Uh, I'd have to reshape all the stuff that we've got building catalogs as they pick up in different places. They're using bulk rail loaders, so it's not like I can tell them to pick up just a few catalog of each type. Blue Lightning DT, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. And... Just for now, I'm gonna... Nope, 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 nope. Just for now, I'm gonna get rid of that storage chest. Or put a... put like a fish filter on it. Alright. Speed modules are working. What about efficiencies? There's no... Oh. Inserters. Well, there's your problem. Uh, 
that one works. Fantastic. Uh, unless I put a limiter on this, we're allowing it to fill a whole extra chest on top of a cargo wagon plus one stack. That's probably fine, honestly. It depends on what kind of resources we've got to feed it. But yeah, I just want to see speed and prod working all the way down. Fantastic, that's our prods. Uh, and we can actually see already that we've got speed sevens. We're just waiting for... oh, lubricant. Never mind. Let me guess, that's what that chat message is about. Just learning from you. Just a thought, like a switching yard building vanilla train from LTN Deliveries. Oh yeah, I have that. I have those. We needed them because of the spell evader. Alright, there it is. Confirmed that we can, in fact, make tier 8 speed modules down here. Cool, I think that is our build. It wasn't a good spot to put... Yeah, no. I like the range from the supercharger. I could put one of these on logistic mode, but then... That would fit perfectly? Huh. Nope, not quite. I could put it here. How much power does the supercharger draw? I mean, a lot when it's in use, right? One gigawatt max consumption. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Minimum consumption is double as well. I think RoboPort's probably fine. I don't know if the blueprint will include that it's uh, in logistic mode or not. But yeah, that'll be our module build. Let's get it done before we finish today. By which I mean built at least, because we'll still be missing a bunch of stuff. What did I just... oh, okay. Alright, blueprint time, I think. I didn't do the station names. Yes, I did. I didn't do the giant request. Oh no. Oh no. All right, um, that's a lot of stuff to request, holy crap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. We'll definitely need another combinator. Um, so what have we got? Five, six, seven, eight. Let's do all of the catalogs on one side. And I think we'll go... Energy here. And then bio. And then... Take it back, I want it the other way around. Uh, and I'm... how many more do we have? Is, was it 25? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 11... wait, 10 plus... 8, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, okay. Uh... But that is an odd number. Put this over here. Oops. And then how about how about all the common stuff over here? Or common theme kind of stuff, I guess.
and then iridium plate, extract, uh, holmium plate, and then we've got like nine left, I think. Damn it, I didn't quite leave room for the way I want this to line up. Alright, let's do kind of like we did on this side. Iridium stuff here. And then bio stuff here. And then energy stuff here. Well, purple things anyway. Purple things that go into efficiency modules. And then I'll move this stuff over a pile. Even the combinators need to be neat. Where possible. And hold me in play. Alright, that's fairly organized, I think. Now we just need to figure out how much we're asking for. Um, how about like 125? How about 120 stacks for each? Why not? 50 times 120 is 6k. So negative 6,000 because it's an LTN request. It'll try to push the number towards zero. If we're reading from a chest something we're offering to LTN, that implicitly gives a positive number. So this one's a negative. And everything else that's stack size 50 is going to be 6k. This will be 12. Uh, what's 40 times 120? 4,800. And then... 24k. This is 6k. All of these are 6k. None of you are free from 6k. Fantastic. And I think... Oh, don't forget the lubricant as well. We'll have it requested when we're down to 80k. Uh, down to 20k, rather. Alright, I am not typing out all of these resources uh, to name the station that's requesting stuff to make modules. Uh, can I use an everything symbol? Yeah, I can. Everything requester. Going into advanced assembly machine and out comes modules. Whoops. Module 7 and Module 6. Cool. That describes this station pretty well. Request everything, make uh, output six kinds of modules. Cool, cool, cool. Let's build this thing before we finish today. Still got ten minutes, actually. Nice. Sewer. And I think all the wiring is already done. I'll seed it manually with the robots. We're not making another LTN request to, like, belt logistic bots down here to insert the first few. And I'm actually pretty happy with that build. 
Okay. Um, I'm just going to name this based on the highest tier of each that we're making. High tier... Height? High tier ground modules. Did we get rid of all the cheat items? I think we did. I don't think we need the wind turbines at this stage. In fact, I should probably start removing some. They are allegedly not great for UPS. We could certainly run that experiment. Get some idea of our UPS before we remove them all next time. 76 storage chests. Okay. Now, where is my blueprint for modules, I wonder? Oh, here it is. Basic modules, one to three. Somewhere in this... Uh, level of, like, folder hierarchy. Unless it's... Here it is. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, where should we build it? Probably close to the other modules, but all this space is kind of taken up already. Um, I have been meaning to get rid of all this. In fact... Well, I'm not going to recycle the, the deconstruction train. I'm just going to park it out of the way for a minute. Till we build a new home for it. And apparently construction can, can already reach. Good job. Now we place one of these. And we're going to tag it just like we did with the station, uh, with the blueprint name. And efficiency six. Oh. This is the beginning of a very, very long road. Starting to save up. Where the hell is that train? Oh, it's coming back. Um, how about you wait here for passenger present? And then wait here... Okay, what the hell is going on with the space elevator? Wait here until passenger not present. Seriously though, what is... We've got cables. It's not... It's not that bad. Um... Just some kind of traffic jam. Why are you not trying to park, like, here? Now it's leaving? Where is he going? Wait. What? Why don't you just go to one of the other... Does this not... I think I need to put train limits on these. Yeah. That, that's probably why. Maybe. It looks like that was the reason, but why now? Why not before this? What? Why are you trying to park where there's someone in the way already?
Is it going to sort itself out now that I changed it, or does this need our attention? These guys are probably not helping. Uh, did I end up making... Why... Why are you trying to drop Core Fragment Vitamelange? Excuse me? Oh, probably because I had the wrong request here. And I never noticed because we were only using vanilla scheduled trains until now. Okay, um, we got lucky, kind of. Could you please go and empty that into Core Fragment Vit? Oh no, we did put some Core Fragment Vit in here. Raid? Mucky, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome, raiders. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Christy, Major Mayhem, and of course, Mucky. How you all doing? Does this also have Vit? It does. Okay, 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 okay. I think that is part of the problem with the Spell Evader um traffic is this one also trying to drop off what a mess what a mess taxi Knox, welcome in how's your stream monkey Factorio, fantastic. After screwing up his first... Wait, what? Was relaxing? Fantastic, good to hear. Alright, can we at least fix this today? I hope so. You also have Vit Core Fragments. Oh my god. He's go drop off over there, which for some reason... Oh, I see. He was well... How many freaking Vit Core Fragments have we got? Holy crap. Actually, that's really weird. If... Apparently all of our Vitamelange is coming through here? Oh, uh, that's seeing a lot more throughput than I was expecting. What the actual... What? How did... Okay, so this drop-off right here is to catch an exception, a super rare bug where... Train, uh, not trains, um, the space version of trains, spaceships, uh, for some reason take off and usually kidnap a few bots and have some core fragments left into them, uh, left in them, and... Oh, I remember. No, this is probably my fault. I said, it'll be fine, I just queued up a bunch of a bunch of these to drop off a bit core fragments to this place because I had otherwise I had to wait and manually have them land here. Okay, it might actually be okay. I'm a little concerned by how much um how much of the other types of core fragments I found here as well. Like really concerned actually. But yeah, basically, the this is the chain that handles when the spaceships bug out. Which was happening super, super rarely, but now apparently we're seeing... Now, now that we made something to catch, uh, to handle those exceptions, um, suddenly I'm seeing constant throughput of core fragments through here. I, mm, I don't like it. 
don't tell me we're not processing the vitamelange because the because there's trains everywhere. Oh my, oh my lord. Okay, I think we need to like get these guys out of the way. How about you park yourself here first? That is so many freaking core fragments. You'd think that would be a good thing, but not in this context. Oh, wait. This is probably the last guy we needed to... That's fine. Can we at least get... There's got to be a train nearby trying to move... Trying to move Vitamelange. Why is there no Vitamelange here? You're joking. We're full on regular core fragments, so we can't pick up the Vitamelange. I'm pretty sure... Oh no. Over time? No! I'm already a little bit sick, I can't go too long. There's zero core fragments up here. So it's not that we don't have the throughput to deal with it. The processing capacity. Ay ay ay. Look, just just go on a go on a fun journey. Get yourself out of everyone's way. Apparently you can't even do that much. Okay, cool, cool. <sighs> At Kazit TV, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is actually probably by far the worst um, traffic jam that I've had this playthrough. Because there are so many trains trying to drop off Vitamelange core fragments. I, I think I should set this to train limit one. It, it's high priority, but don't send 50 trains at a time, please. Okay? Okay. Um, now then. How do I unravel this puzzle? Uh, apparently you can't go that way. Really? Really, really? Oh, I see. Maybe that'll help something. Not not as much as I hoped. Okay. These railbox kind of have a built-in... Uh, they have built-in... Bog champ. Bog champ? Built-in stackers to a degree, but obviously this is too much. Cyclomac? Uh, Cyclomatic, thank you very, very much for the seven months. Much appreciated. Thank you. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hope you've been doing well lately. Um, so this thing... Oh my god. It's all blocked based on core fragments. Regular core fragments. This is prior 100. Do we not have any... Do we actually not have... Guys, we're out of logistic cargo trains. Because they're all, every single one of them almost, trying to move Vitamelange core fragments. Oh my god. Okay, uh, time for some drastic action, I think. Um, how about this? Apparently I don't have many inserters handy. I 
can't exactly send for the construction train right now. Just gonna fly over and steal some stuff. And we apparently have a little traffic jam over here as well. Oh, because it's because of the new build. Oh my lord. That's that that is a bot halo. That is quite the bot halo. Probably because I forgot to place the Tesla. Um, that might be why. Here it comes. That makes sense, at least. That reminds me, this needs batteries. All our trains need batteries, actually. All the ones that spend time on the surface, anyway. Um, what did I come here for? Chests? And... Uh, superior inserters. Okay, we're just not going to worry about that for the moment. Robots, do your thing. Fantastic. So, two of these is almost one train load. Two chests. That was that was actually not enough inserters. Set filters, or rather, just blacklist, no condition. Wow, the regular stack inserters look kind of slow now, and we're actually at like 58 UPS when I checked. this. Okay. Have we just about fixed this gargantuan... Kinda, yes. That was... That was the easier way to go about it. Um... Just, just cram it full of chests. Why not? Okay, construction train, what are you doing? Why are you looping? Are you still trying to build? Uh, I think the answer is yes. Probably. Oh, this is connected. What is this doing here? Get out of here. That might be part of the problem. Oh, it's because we're adding one construction bot to it over and over. I knew this would happen, but I forgot this would happen. So once we stop shuffling construction bots, it should reset one more time. No? Why? Hello? Why are you like this? Now it's working. Why now? Why did it just loop like 12 times? I was, I was just about to start trying things. Maybe there were more bots jumping in and I just didn't see them. I don't know. But it, it, we've got 49 bots in each wagon now. It looks like it's working. Okay. Did we get our build finished? Just about. We just need some rail. Oh, and I need to give it Logibots to get it started. That's why we've got that, uh... That's why we've got that pile up over there. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give some Logibots. I think our Logibots are a bit busy here, actually. I'll pick them up myself. I 
exactly 50. And... Yeah, we don't have any here. Somehow we have 17 construction bots. There we go. There we go. Zamanduck, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh. And look at all these trains waiting to drop stuff off over here. Oh, and we can set this properly now. Oh, it is set properly. Cool, cool, cool. So here is where eventually we're going to do tier 8 speeds, tier 7 prods, and tier 6 everything. I might disable... I know we've only got the tier 7 speed unlocked so far, but I might just disable... Um, making anything beyond a 6 for the moment, because that's what we built this for, so that we can make matter fabricators. Cool. And what about our trains? Wow, it's, um... Wait, what? Destination f Oh, what the... Holy crap. Oh, no. Are they still trying to drop off Vitamelange at the stone? I think they are. Alright. Please drop it off here instead. I'll have to go and remove some Vitamelange core fragments from these things. No! Ah, rip. At least, as long as we don't run out of stone core fragments here, it's going to self-filter right there. I think we've got like three or four or five more of these. And that's part of why we were having problems with trains at the spell elevator as well, I think. You can also go over here. And you as well. And you late. That's actually stone. And that is not. Alright, let's drive over there. Are these guys no pathing or anything? No, I don't think so. I think they're taking stuff from the mall. What are you waiting for? Speed threes. Because we have way too many at the mall, apparently. No? Wait, you... Stop that. Should be getting the speed threes from here, which are empty. Um, I think I'll set this to provide stack threshold 50 now. And limit it to 50 stacks. And are these all still working? Technically? I might need to fix blue circuits still. I mean, they've been overdue to be updated for a while. Actually, we're still saturated on blue circuits. Oh. I think I see the problem. Is that going to cause a delivery? Yes, it is. Whoopsie daisy. Because I changed the way this works and didn't change the... Provide stack threshold back down to 100. All 
Alright, cool. Blue circuits should be on the way over here. Fantastic. Really want to get all these little things fixed before I take, like, what, four days off of Factorio? Uh, I was about to borrow that train, because I wanted to go down and grab the four fragments. Actually, let me borrow this train. Why not? And use the storage space. Actually, make that passenger impossible. Because I really don't want it to leave when it gets full inventory. Alright. Now then. Oh, my inventory is not that good right now. Moving stuff. I forgot this was the old cargo wagons because bots don't work properly with the new ones. They do work, but only when the train is set to manual. Alright. Everything from that side. That wasn't too hard. Once more with feeling. Mm. We don't have... Oh, we do have quite a bit of room in here, actually. Good, good, good. I'm not gonna... Use the balancing trick that might just spill thousands upon thousands of a bit core fragments on the ground. As entertaining as I'm sure that would be. Alright, that wasn't so hard. I think, probably, hopefully, if we go and do that again on the other side, that'll all be cleared up. Okay. Vit and vit, and that was a lot easier, and there isn't any on the belt, luckily. Can I grab this back? Not really. Kind of. Yes. Uh, there's actually nothing in the train, so I'm just gonna... I was gonna send it home, and then I realized this poor train is homeless for the moment. Shift C. Easy enough. Close enough. Okay. Poor train being homeless? I know. I'll give it a good home, don't worry. Much better than the... the old home that it used to have where it had to empty itself every time it came back. I think I'll put it right next to the uh, construction train, actually. Like something like this, maybe? We'll use basically the same build, but kind of simplified, because we don't need to put a bunch of stuff into it. And just like this should be fine. Actually, no, it won't. That's a lie. Because, because this train's never going to get in here. I think, 
actually, we don't want this to be two-way either. Alright, that seems reasonable. Now what's the name of the station for this train? Uh, we're not going to have an emptier anymore. Deconstruct O Train Loader. I think I'll copy it like this. And. There we go. So now it has a home, even if we haven't. White. Um, that's the word I'm looking for. Should have put the LTN train. No, 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 what are you doing? No, bad. Oh, it's the train limits. Yeah, no, this is fine. I want the LTN train to go back home first. Do we really have zero LTN trains to pick this up still? Especially the core fragments that are blocking everything? I think I'll just... yeah... This has its own problems, but for now at least I'll... make the storage for the regular core fragments unlimited. The only problem with it is this doesn't actually balance. But normally core fragments would come through at... 6.33 per second. That's not that slow, actually. Hmm. And if we can count on core fragments always being processed, maybe I should just not worry about that being balanced. Need to process the regular core fragments faster? No, I checked. At least, as far as we can tell. Um... When I looked here earlier, there was zero. There was zero core fragments. Um, nothing was in motion here. It was because we didn't have trains bringing the core fragments here. Because we had a massive, massive uh, pile-up. Because this station, which we only really want one train accessing at a time, requested six trillion trains all at once I'm more than a little bit concerned that we may actually need some higher throughput oh really 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 maybe I'll turn that into a long arm um, but yeah, I deliberately set this to stack size 1, because I thought we would hardly ever have trains picking up here, and I just wanted a really simple, precise loader. Um, but judging by the, the amount of beryl and iridite, and a bit of hormonite, it's not just the vitamelange that I directed to land here earlier. Somehow we're getting lots of ships using the recycling drop-off. Here's one now. Um, I think I had better try that one idea that I had. That, I don't know if it'll help anything, but it might. That train is gone again, isn't it? Let me borrow this guy. Nope. Oh, fine. This loader is not working properly either. Um, take me here. Right after you've done this. Wait for passenger not present. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, I see. I see the problem. So we've been endlessly cycling... <laughs> we've been endlessly cycling red 
uh, prod three modules. Whoopsie daisy. All right. So here's the here's the plan. Earlier I talked about having we, we built a parachute, uh, something to deal with the exceptions. Uh, but hopefully this other idea to stop the exceptions might actually work. Where should I put it? I'll put it here. So we're just going to say output red signal if launch signal is greater than zero. Yeah, just do a little red one here. And then green wire down here. So we're not going to, if there's a launch signal detected here, we're not going to allow a ship to land. Um, because I'm thinking maybe some of the ships have got like instantly launched almost as soon as they land. Uh, that's my, that's my new long shot anyway. I'm pretty sure all of these are going to be the same at every block. So, except for this one, maybe. This goes here, and... Oops, here, 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 a little bit faster please, here, and I think that's all of them for now. Alright, so now we just leave our RoboPod on and fly past them all. And with any luck, we'll never need the exception handler again. Zoom, zoom. And that's it. We hope. I do see a ship here, so I don't think it's as if every single ship is landing at the exception handle place now. It's only if they're somehow not having something on the memory cell. I think this would have been completely full already if... God, it's already close. Why? How can we have two ships that have that bug in, like, dozens of hours? And then the moment that I make a ship to deal with that exact... Uh, the moment that I make a drop-off to deal with that exact problem, apparently every ship is dropping things off here. I, I don't understand. Whatever the case, that's going to be it for today. Now, let's see who's streaming Factorio. We've got Kintertooth, All Holland. I think it's been a minute since I raided All Holland, actually. I'm curious to see what mods you're using. Can you maybe quickly scroll through your list? Uh, there's a command. You can scroll down or type in mods right here. Thanks for streaming. Thanks for hanging out, Johan. And everyone else as well. Alright, let's drop in on All Holland. And give him a pleasant surprise. He's doing K2 and just K2 actually. Take care, Silent. Thanks for dropping by. All right, away we go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means.
And till next time, stay safe. Join just in time to see how long it takes to save, indeed. Well, you, you may never know. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, build it. Build it. Oh, I think we're gonna be safer. <gasps> Do you know resource hacks? T hacks. What a huge trade. 133 people in here? Whoa. Hello. Greetings from hashtag Norway. Sorry about the hashtag here. Hashtag. It's, uh, it's pretty weird.